Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. And today's episode of the Brilliant Idiots is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start the show. Doodoo Herm is here. Yep. Big Wax. Um, very important to note that we're recording this on 2-2-2-2-2. Ooh. This? Yeah. Two, 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 oh, two, two. shit. We yeah. will never see this again in our lifetime. Wow. Um, today oh. is a day of manifestation. Okay? Wow. For those of us who like to manifest things and for those of us who have vision boards and for those That's of us dope. who like to speak things into existence, um, every day is a good day to do that. But today, there's extra special energy going on. Why? Because it's 2-2-2-2. 2 2 2 2 2 Never, never happens. It'll never happen again in life. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Never. 2-2. Two, two. So, when you go home today, speak things. Literally. Like, yo, I want to make a hundred million dollars over the next five years in touring. Right. Shit, I want to make a hundred million dollars within this year. Doing what? Whatever happens. God bless me. Anything that comes to me that's is not blessings how, that's anyway. Not how to See, that's your fault. That's just not how this works. How you know? Why God might bless me and give me a hundred million dollars. That's not how this works. God wants you to be specific. I, the Bi- Listen, the Talk Bible, the Speak power boldly. of intention, law of attraction, there's not one single thing that you're going to find that doesn't tell you you have to be specific. Be God specific. is going to bless me. I'm always expecting. I don't know where it comes from. A lot of people always feel like they always looking at something where the, they think the blessing is going to come from, but God going to smack you in the back of your head with his blessing. Yeah, but God also is going to put something in your head to tell you to, you know what, work towards this. And by the way, like I might put be going, I might, I might be going towards that orange ruler in the corner, mm-hmm. but I might be stopped at the camera for a little bit. Now you understand what I'm saying? But I'm still looking for that orange ruler in the corner, and God mm-hmm. still wants but me that, to be in that but corner. That's not even exactly that orange ruler is nothing. It'll probably be more over there. It's just about the destination. Though. All I'm simply saying is you got to be specific. You can't I'm, just I'm, say I'm, I'm I'm in position. Bless me, God. Yes, I'm in position to get blessed. I pay my tithes and offerings every week. You know what I'm saying? I am in position. And to Bishop help T.D. People Jakes out. even tell you to be specific. Well, God, Hell God, God, exactly what you want. I want a hundred million dollars this year, Lord. Doing what? Whatever way you want to bless me. I'm I'm going towards his direction. I want to be more like God. So I'm being more in his light and he's going to God bless doesn't me want that. money. I don't know what he's talking about. He ain't got to want money. I want it. He's going to give it to me. All I'm going to have change money, numbers. You're just trying to go towards him and his direction. Then he's going to be like, yeah, give away all that money. He might do, but he got to give it to me for be, be able to give it away. Or he's like, I already did it for you. I'll give it away to some people for you. No, nah, Lord, give it to me. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> you know he know your heart, right? He do? Yeah. Exactly. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. God knows my heart, so I'm in position to receive my blessing because my heart ain't hard. Enough. What's your heart full of? Um, Heart full of love. And yeah, bro, I was looking at these I'm idiots. telling you, yeah, man. That shit right. Nah, you bro. You keep saying yeah, that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. No, the arms yeah. are still strong. But well, you, I, you oh, have a... Uh, it's a level about. of... No. Just like this. Uh, you have you have breath. You might yeah, have exactly. You should get a mammogram yeah. or something dude. Like, for real, bro. Like just in case, dude. You should get something just in this case. This really bro. a that's, whole full cut. My hair is big as a mother. That's a titty, bro. Oh my whole shit. That shit was a beads that you had Mardi Gras, bro. No. <laughs> Did you have Mardi that was this weekend. <laughs> I'll throw beads at you at Mardi Gras. Uh, Listen, okay. but you got to be specific, everybody. You got you're not specific with you your. No, I heard you saying very that. specific. Yes. But, yes, that, but that's, that's literally what you want, though. Like, it's like I always say, the people that work at McDonald's, you wanted to go there because you went there and filled the application. The same exact time that's as time you true. fill out the application at McDonald's is you could have made a million dollars there by doing this, the same time. It's take the exact same yeah, time. but what if the person just wanted a job? But what, why what, you go there? It's so many other jobs. So if you know that... A job is a job. They wanted listen, I hear you, but you know the cap is probably fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year. If you go at ahead... McDonald's? And, yeah. No? Hell no. <laughs> Fifty, sixty thousand. But if that's what you want, I'm just talking about the cap. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the cap is at that job, you know that's what you're gonna get that year. Why would you go there if you want more? Because uh, it might be a, a thing of proximity. Like I might live in a neighborhood where I don't have a car, or I don't have money to get to and fro. So I see the McDonald's that's in walking distance, yeah. maybe or okay, bicycle but, distance. Right, but guess what? You might you, need you immediate go. security. All right, but but guess what? A you, job you know you can so, get. So go so go to Walmart, go get a um a a, a lawnmower and start cutting grass. I bet you make I'm some. I'm about more. a lawnmower. You could fit. Right? 
That's how you how you get there. You could, so many ways you can sit there and buy a lawnmower, especially how? Those, I need how? money. If you got a you a man, you got to meet. Yeah, work it. And you I ain't gonna, work it. What do you mean? Look like sell your day? dick? No, you can sell your meat real quick. No, prostitution, dude. man. Probably sell your meat real quick. Why would you why sell would I, drugs? But hold on, sell your for meat. something great though. I and mean, if I can be a prostitute, why would I cut grass? Yeah, you're gonna sell your meat so that you can buy a lawnmower so you can cut grass. Drug dealers. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> you don't know. How, how you gonna get the fucking lawnmower? You need God, bro. You really do, man. You need God. God you're godless. Bro. No, God, God is trying to God bless you every single day with the logic that we give you. Yeah. Every I, day. Yeah, I feel blessed every day. You all should. Day every time I wake up in the morning, I say, Lord, thank you for blessing me for another day. Real talk. You should feel real blessed because today is two, 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 two. <laughs> okay. Did y'all watch the All-Star game this weekend, baby? Hell no, bro. Come, Come on, man. I haven't been watching basketball, man. Really? Why? Yeah. I think the Knicks have just you been Cap? so bad for so long. I'm with Kaepernick. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, what? <laughs> 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 Wait, what? 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 It don't matter. Tyrese got on Instagram this week and put up a picture of Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan and said these are the two biggest inspirations on and off the field. So <laughs> if, my, if Tyrese can say that, it don't What's matter. Wrong that? That's wrong. Oh, Lord. Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan? Yeah. yeah. They're not? The two best on and off the field. On and off. Magic has killed it off the field, though. Both of them, though. You know what I'm saying? He's killed it. Business-wise. Then movie theaters, bro. They kill somebody? How my love. Alex, do you get it? I get it a little bit. Magic Johnson had um, HIV. No, man. It has yeah. nothing to do with oh. that. <laughs> On and off the field. Oh, court. <laughs> Jesus on Christ, off guys. The field. Off the court. <laughs> they don't play on the field. Jesus Christ. Uh, they don't play oh. on the field. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. That's amazing. Come on. <laughs> it's so great. Yeah, that should be a lot of sense to me. I thought he was making an AIDS joke about Magic Johnson, bro. Like, this guy's an inspiration for you off the field. I need beat to know AIDS. how your joke brain works. Where is the joke in there? Because I thought he, he beat AIDS. He beat HIV. That's an inspiration. And the field could be anything. I didn't even platform. think about field. Field was done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, Michael Jordan, Mag Johnson, inspiration on and off the field. And I on was and like, off the court. Yeah, court. Yeah, the yes. court. Yes. But yes. they yes. could still be inspirations on and off the court because the way they play and then their business moves off yeah. the that's court. What I was but that's what I'm talking yeah. about. He just, he just replaced he, field he put field and it should have been court. Yeah. yeah. Like, you got to be specific about stuff. Yeah, yeah. Tyrese. I, it Tyrese you know Tyrese what, though? Up. You don't have to be anymore. What you am I don't. No, like, why? I got the it. is a rap. Like, all of that yeah. shit is over. I'm the only yeah. motherfucker out here still trying to pay attention to detail and shit. And what details are you trying to pay attention to? Just <laughs> words. Words used to matter. Like what? <laughs> shit. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing you got to do is click it, things now. Bro, them shit used to matter. Them shit don't matter no more. It does not matter what you say anymore. You don't they think really so? Don't. No. So no. just say it. Let's just say anything. You People are. Yeah, they are. Everybody say a word you can't say on three. One, two, three. No, 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 no. I'm talking about like... <laughs> <laughs> those words definitely matter. Some words you matter. don't even need to... Listen, those words matter. You, hey, you don't even need the context. Those words matter. You could say it... You could say, I am one, and they would still they be still, yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, but yeah. you know what's crazy is right now, pictures is worth a thousand words, so now you just got to put a picture up that you really don't have to say nothing. Picture's not worth a thousand words. No, it's what are you not. talking about? A it, it, you no. put a picture up, that can mean so many... You never looked That's like a problem. A, yeah. It know. is a problem. A picture, I, I don't know if a picture was worth a thousand words. How many words? I don't know. I'm trying to think. A picture's worth a thousand emotions nowadays. Because Depending that, on the picture, dude. Like, sometimes a picture is, is worth, like, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm growing, bro. I'm evolving. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm evolving, bro. I'm just I, know, I, know, I, know, I know exactly I'm what you're so saying. I'm evolving. I'm evolving, bro. Because the, 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 the picture's worth more than words. It's actual feelings and emotions yeah. behind it. Like, people exactly. get into this yeah, shit. Like, jerking off. That's why likes matter. That's yeah. why all that shit matters. Yeah, bro. yeah, 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 yeah. People also, yeah, it's not worth a thousand words at all. Like, we see plenty of pictures on Instagram all the time. We We put an emoji. We don't even put a single word. Whoever whoa, said whoa, whoa, pictures whoa, whoa. worth a thousand words, what? They need to have a thousand emojis then because it could What be, happens if you like a picture? How many words is that worth? It all it all depends on why you like it. You <laughs> like, I like it because I like it. I like it because of... It depends what the picture is, too. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. It definitely does. How many words is liking liking a People got to stop picture? wilding, though, yeah, yo. Yeah. You can't just like... You can't, like, get upset because <laughs> somebody liked a picture. No, you can't. I can. agree. I think so. But what, how many words do you think it's worth? Five? No, it can mean I'm so many I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> I Will love you. you marry me? <laughs> I'm in love with you. 
four. I'm, I'm in love, love with you. That's five. I want your attention. I'm in love with that, you. Now we're doing syllables too. That's not a word. I want your <laughs> attention. <laughs> I want your you li- you literally said I want your attention. <laughs> <laughs> that that was unbelievable. I want your that was next. <laughs> attention is one word. Attention. <laughs> No. <laughs> social, <laughs> listen, social media ruining us, yo. It's ruining it us, man, for no goddamn reason. Yes. It does not have to be like this. Yeah. I mean, we're I, making it like this. We're putting too much stock into this shit, man. We are. Yeah, but but it shows your emotion. It shows what you really are. No, it does not. It shows what you like. Be like I, right I think now, everything about social media is the fakest version of you. Yes. No, no, no. It tells what you really want. So right now, if you, no, look at my don't. Light, if you look at my likes, you're going to see animals, water, Mountains and shit like that, like sceneries and that's shit what you like, like that in the you Bible. Like nature, wax. But that's what I understand. You see what I'm saying? So that's what you're gonna see me liking. If I like anything else, uh Yeah, but that's showing. one aspect of it. The other aspect of it, here's the biggest aspect of social media. It's the performance. Everybody's fucking performing. Yeah. The only way not to perform on social media is to not be on it. Mm-hmm. All right, so guess it's really what? just that simple. Everybody <laughs> perf- everybody performs on that shit. If you're on that shit, you are performing. Yeah. If you say you're not, you're lying. All right, so right stage. now, right now, if the motherfucking uh giants score a touchdown, are you liking it? Fuck the fucking giants. If you ain't for that team, if you don't like that, why the fuck are you liking it? Maybe a good like touchdown. It? It's a good skill. I'm still not going to do it because it's them. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's just me. Just He's saying like know. certain things you just won't like no matter what. Regardless of what. Because of whatever the reason is. Well, if you do like it, it must be an amazing fucking touchdown or something, You may right? not like it, but you yeah. might comment on it. You might even say, man, fuck these giants. Cowboys yeah. all day. Whatever. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that wasn't all that. Fuck yeah. I'd rather even that than actually but, liking. But either, you, you know what you're still doing? You still want to be part of the conversation. That's true. You still want to be part you of the attention. You want to be attention. It? You want to be seen. Like, hey, hey, hey I'm yeah. Yeah, because a lot of time I look on, on like the shade room and stuff like that, and I'm like, that person shouldn't have said that on there. Like, you put that on there because you want they attention. They want attention. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't just Yo, do that I, for no I'm reason. I'm telling you, man, the, 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 one of the toughest, it's not even tough. Just don't be involved with the conversation. Mm. Disconnect. Mm. Like, you do not have to have an opinion on every motherfucking thing. Yeah. That's why I like the podcast. If yeah. you want to do it, at least get paid for it. Yeah. yeah. You know, do radio, do stand up. Like, get yeah. paid for this shit, man. Like, yeah. you just get online and just volunteer. Ouch. All day long. And I said, I don't know if I said this last week, or I've been saying this in my head. We spend so much time telling people what we think as opposed to actually thinking. Mm. Who doesn't need critical thinking anymore? As opposed to just constantly telling people what we think. Yeah, critical thinking takes time. Dude. Yeah, what's thinking really is thinking? exhausting. Like that. Thinking is exhausting. It is. It's think, the yeah. hardest thing to do. Yeah, and that's why we probably like the people who do the critical thinking because they did all the heavy lifting for us. And that's it, man. That's such a good fucking point because yeah. then they get on they, the ones that actually do the research, do the heavy lifting. They say something somewhere that everybody will see, and then group think sets in, and everybody runs with it. Yeah, which is. Cool, I guess. Probably normal. Yeah. Probably completely normal. Yeah. I mean, right. with religion even, right? Like, I mean, these words are coming from God, yes. But, like, these words have a profound effect. And we're like, holy shit. That's beautiful. That message is awesome. Yeah. That message resonates with me. You did all the critical thinking. Yeah. You created the analogies. You created the metaphors mm-hmm. that, that penetrated me. Mm-hmm. Fast forward. Passive, like you said. <laughs> and and ba- basically, we're, like, passive drawn to that. What? What? No, I said like a pastor. You said you penetrated. Pastor him? penetrated you. No, man. come on, bro. <laughs> you said why would your words. mind go that That's way? That's what I got no. from that. I got from that, from that whole said, thing. I'm not giving this shit up for a pastor, but a priest maybe. But it got to be <laughs> some huh? lowly pastor, you dog. I need to be so? the pope, fam. <laughs> you want to tell us something? It's got to be the pope. Yeah, just, that's just like all these other girls is fucking these other guys and this one girl who say I fuck Drake. Like she's this big person now. Exactly. Because she used her pussy a different. Yeah, but don't you think that that was like if you're gonna fuck guys for no reason. Mm-hmm. Don't you think you'd rather have Drake than the guy who was like the barback? Well, what's the that difference? The the same if you fucking guys for no reason, it's because you like fucking guys. So it don't matter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What's the difference? Dick is dick. Is it me? Yeah, but if they're going to disappoint you, wouldn't you rather be disappointed by that famous person? To do what with it? What do you mean? Just huh? to say, do I like that? I did it. Say what? Do I like? Am I? A- <laughs> if you're not going to come with a guy, isn't it better to not come with Drake? I right, but what if they both make okay. you come? Hold on. Am I gay? Women come? Yeah, well, this is why. Come women definitely come. Wait, you're gay? Am I gay? I'm asking, am I gay? Well, I've always felt you are. Okay. 
Listen though. Yeah. <laughs> on, <laughs> kind of like, I don't your, know what's your going personal on. feelings aside. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> but, but I'm getting the, freaked out. Well, in the context about, of the conversation. I don't know. I thought we were talking about. I, we were just trying to get drinks and pussy, and Charlamagne came out the goddamn closet. <laughs> oh, I thought okay. you said a guy. I thought you said if, well, if you was a guy, you'd rather sleep with a celebrity. No. no. What are you thinking about? What did I miss here? <laughs> get back in the closet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what the yeah. fuck is going on? Why'd you feel so goddamn comfortable to do that? <laughs> what do you mean? Out of nowhere, we're trying to talk about we girls drink, having sex with Drake, and you're just like, am I gay or am I not gay? <laughs> you're like, what the fuck that got to do with anything? <laughs> out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Schultz, Schultz, am I gay? Schultz, am no. I gay? And then they didn't hear you and you uh, yeah. back. Yeah. I, I, tried I tried to move on. Trying to move I tried to move on. Yeah. You and I was trying to move on and he stopped the conversation Yo, again. This is why these are dangerous. I why? Down for one Don't blame second. it on your phone. <laughs> Don't blame it on your phone. I looked phone. down for one second and we was in fucking Pennsylvania. <laughs> 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 I looked down for one fucking second. <laughs> Old <laughs> Town Road. We over at Old Town Road. For okay. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going that road. I ain't going. I'm going somewhere else. Make a left, honey. Make a left. Definitely not that road. That road's too oh, bumpy. It's too slow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, oh you definitely not gonna be old. lonely. Oh, <laughs> it's old. It's too old. Old, maybe. Listen. All Star Game was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Move on. Bro. And we have to. Can talk. you can you tell us what you were talking about? Can we just? I swear that I thought really you. I, this is what I really I, do, I, actually, I yeah, thought y'all yeah. was talking about guys sleeping with guys <laughs> and was saying it would be if you would rather sleep with a celebrity. No, no I'm saying if you're a girl, right, uh -huh. and you're just gonna like have casual sex with somebody, right? Wouldn't you rather do that with a stranger? Wouldn't you rather that stranger be a famous person? I heard all of that. Girl status. And you still was like, gay. why am I gay? <laughs> I thought you were talking about me. I don't know why. Why? I heard all of that. You heard all of that. I don't hear that. And, then, and why was your reaction, Schultz? Am I gay? I don't know. <laughs> What's going on? Bro, it's two, 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 two. <laughs> two, 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 two. <laughs> it's something going on today. Two, 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 two. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> two, 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 two. Listen, you gotta, I got to give LeBron the utmost props. Okay, go. LeBron is by far one of the greatest marketers we've ever seen. Ooh. Because he all but assured his son will get drafted to the wow. NBA. Brilliant. For sure. For sure. Brilliant. But you got to think about, ever since the decision, mm -hmm. he realizes how to pick his spots the right way. Mm -hmm. LeBron been feeling this way. Mm -hmm. I think, I, I, I said two weeks ago, LeBron going to end up back in Cleveland. Right? Because mm. you look at how good Cleveland is right now. You look at the young core around Cleveland. Yeah. I'm like, LeBron going to go back to Cleveland. That's probably how LeBron's career going to end. LeBron career going to end with him going back to Cleveland. With his son. With winning a ring with that young team. I didn't, I didn't factor the son thing in. I'm not going to lie. But I, I said he's going to win a ring with that young team, and that'll be his, his swan. And you, oh, wow. and you really think it's going to be Cleveland? Yes. Cleveland's balling this year. They got a fantastic young core of players. Right. They're the surprise team in the league. He's, he's got, what, another That's year left on his Lakers deal. I think his son would have to play, what, Senior year in high school and a freshman year in college. Junior, he's junior now. So he yes. has to play senior year. Yes. Two more years. Two so, more years. So wait, this year he has to finish. Yeah. Next year, really sign, another year, and sign, then one more year after that. So technically, it's two and a half years. You give it's uh -huh. because the Lakers is a storied franchise. You you give them at least two more years, right? Uh -huh. To get their shit together. Yeah, you have two more years, and then the third Unless one. He don't come back. Is going to be when he plays. In Go league. play in Cleveland. So the question is, I mean, this is absolutely brilliant because. Let's say why it's brilliant. Obviously, you were thinking this is every team wants to be the team that has LeBron's farewell tour. You literally yeah. sell out every single game. It is worth whatever you're going to pay LeBron's son. It is worth if you lose that fucking season. It doesn't matter because it's a sellout every single game. Mm -hmm. The bars, the restaurants are going to be busy. Sure. You will inject billions of dollars probably into Guaranteed. the local economy, especially mm -hmm. if it's a city like Cleveland who absolutely needs Need it. it. Brilliant. The question is, if LeBron starts to drop off significantly, his play doesn't look like it now, but if his ability starts to decrease significantly, right? Hey, Taylor. Taylor Gang! Yo. How much more will he tolerate? Because he's going to have to play this one and two more before Bronny even is in the league, well, right? He won his last one with him. So, so that means, let's say next season, he starts to be like, 
he starts to drop off a little. And then the season after that, what if he's like kind of like a shell of himself? Like players age quickly. I don't see it. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, only thing I see, only thing I can hurt Bron is injuries, <clears throat> which starts which to pile up as yeah, you get older. Yeah, yeah. But but if he's on that court, he's gonna figure out a way to give you at least twenty and ten. And plus, just his experience and you know what he could teach young players changes everything. Absolutely. He can almost be kind of oh, like a sure. player coach. Yes. That's it. Yes, for sure. That's yeah. it. You fuck around and play sure. four and five in your final years? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Average yeah. 16 points. He probably, that's probably the lowest he'll probably always go. Yeah. 12, 16 points. But the fact he said all of that in Cleveland, Cleveland. he knows like he knows what the fuck he's doing. Now, was, this decision was a misstep, I guess. Yeah. Right? But you learn. You, li- you and learn. And was it a misstep? The dude won rings there. No, no, I'm talking about, I guess, the way he announced it. Yes. With the yeah. whole decision yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, and then the whole big, we're going to win six, seven, eight. You know what I mean? Like, that might have been, a, and, and who knows? He, even you know, little LeBron, if, even if he starts sucking, little LeBron, they're going to come put him in the league anyway because he's a story. He's going to sell. He's so that's LeBron, the thing. Yeah. LeBron solidified. Yes. He so put him in the league like now, that. Now, the only thing that could hurt is that, like, you might be hurting your son's game. Yeah. Because a people couple years so in college much. might benefit him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. the people in the league will make sure they make sure they get the trainings. He's been around that already. That's the other he, he, he looking he, at it as a different. He coming in the, in the front. Also, court. like he might play one year in the league. Bronny, like we don't know how good Bronny's going to be, but right now it's not. He's not the type of prospect where it's like, oh yeah, he's going to be a lottery pick right yeah, now. Yeah, Who yeah, knows? Yeah, he yeah. might yeah. now. He is because of what his father said uh, before that. Not a lottery. Yeah, he'll yeah. get what, drafted. So what I'm saying is, mm-hmm. what I'm saying is like he'll ensure he'll get drafted. But when does he get drafted? Even if he goes at the end of the second round, you just sign him for the league minimum and you get Bron. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, yeah. it doesn't matter when he gets drafted. If anything, LeBron could tell which team he wants to draft him and they just use their second round pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kill it. It's going to be Cleveland. Two, two seconds. I mean, that'd be crazy. And by the way, also too, <laughs> hey, the, yo, the kid might blossom. Yo, yo, yeah. if I'm another you team, know what I mean? if I'm another team and I know LeBron wants to pay, play in Cleveland, and Cleveland has a piece that I want, I'm drafting Bronny Jr. ahead of Cleveland oh. and forcing them to make that trade. Yeah, and think about it. Look, when Kyrie. you do the trade, the trade, you're actually trading so that team can get LeBron. Yes. So, yeah, you're just giving one player from the Cavaliers, but the Cavaliers are going to get Bronny and mm-hmm. LeBron. Mm-hmm. I, I just think the marketing of it is genius, man. I mean, just the, even Stephen A. Smith said yesterday, he was like, I was not talking about Bronny on purpose because, you know, you want the kid to be a kid. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? You don't want to put too much pressure on him. But he was like, yo, now that LeBron's man. talking about him, I went to go check his game out. I went to go see what was up. And he was like, yo, it's a lot of people that are interested in him. Whether they're interested in him because of Bron or whatever, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is what's wrong with a little nepotism. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know you're what what Biggie said you got to have nothing. Well, but I'm just thinking about the storyline. what? Yo, Bron. Wins a ring in Cleveland, another one with his son. Yeah. That's huge. I mean, not gonna happen, but but that would be You great. don't think so? No, not a chance. Tell me why. Now he bring the right people. Cleveland's I, I, good, bro. Are they? Yeah, they like the third seed in the East this year. <laughs> like they good. They got I'm, some good ass pieces. Many, is, are they beating North, Brooklyn? You know what I'm saying? Like, are they beating Maybe not this year. They're really are they good, bro. Golden State? No, 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 no. Are they beating I think the Lakers? They're They'll blow the Lakers out the fucking water. Yeah, Lakers kind of trash, huh? Cleveland's really good. Cleveland's like the third seed in the East, third or fourth seed in the East, yo. Yeah. I mean, all right. Meanwhile, yeah. Brooklyn's nine. And Braun would bring <clears throat> over a lot of players, too. That's true. That's yeah, the thing. You get, you get that's GM LeBron, so he's going to bring over other pieces yeah. and then maybe, you know. Do they got a dope-ass squad. Mm. Yeah, but you know, once Braun takes over, then <laughs> that, that could I, all I, change. I, 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 now, I gave Braun props for being a great marketer. <laughs> GM, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, is that what yeah, did? Yeah, you made Jordan some questionable made decisions shit. this year uh, with the Lakers, Bron. I don't know how I trust your GM hat right. All right, yeah. but listen, Bron, he could actually make his own team like the Wizards, like um, Jordan did, right? Yeah, but that didn't work out. You remember that no. team? <laughs> they not around anymore. <laughs> what the Wizards? What are you talking about? Oops. No, they're around. So they are. What are you yeah, talking, talking about? about? You want to sleep with Drake or not? You bug <laughs> Listen, <laughs> this guy's crazy. This guy's out of control. <laughs> Who is that guy? Listen, I don't know. Also, too, <laughs> listen, man, you got to give props to the guy who I think revolutionized the game of basketball in ways we have not seen. The baby face killer, okay? The golden beige warrior, <laughs> fucking Steph Curry. Oh, they booed Steph Curry all weekend long. And then he put a 50 piece on him. A 50 clip. 
16 three-pointers like it was nothing. Mm. Yo, Steph Curry makes the three-pointer look more exciting than the slam dunk. Yo, facts. Yeah. I haven't seen a slam dunk in a long time. It made me be like, oh, shit. With them deep threes. Unbelievable. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. The it's, accuracy is crazy. It's, unbe- it's for no fucking reason. Yeah. yeah. For no fucking reason. I wonder if he's a good accountant. What? I wonder if he's like a good accountant. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be so... You know what I'm <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I'm just saying, you gotta be like... What are you doing right now, Taylor? Sorry, I, to I like your hair. Oh, shit. I just noticed. Okay. You spent all morning with her and you didn't notice? I didn't see her. Aw. I didn't see I only saw her like once when she was in the studio. You don't think people that Taylor, be so the hair looks great. Like that is like good at counting numbers and being so precise at things. No. Like this calculated is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> what? <It's> very calculated. <laughs> what? For him to be able to sit there and shoot all them threes well, like that, that well, and put well, them that, in. That's genetics, bro. That's because his daddy was <laughs> Dale Curry. Yeah. Who, I hear what you said. Who but... also was a great three-point shooter. So uh, Steph probably yeah. has shot. You know how we talk about the 10,000 hour theory? Mm-hmm. There's no telling how many jump shots yeah. Steph Curry has shot in his life <laughs> yeah. since he's been able to shoot a fucking basketball. Or, or a counselor. Huh? Because <laughs> he's like on point with things. What are you talking about? You Earlier you said that like things transfer over from my life because of other things that's going on. It's probably transfer over. Him being so precise and get, putting the ball in every time. It's like he closed his eyes and put it in the girl pussy. It's because his daddy, bro. But why is he an accountant? I, I don't know. Or a counselor. I don't know what he's talking about. Calculated. <laughs> he's calculating. So a scientist maybe too. Maybe he could be a scientist. He probably could be a scientist or like a lawyer or something What's like up, that. What's up, man? What's going on with you today, man? What's wrong? Yeah, talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> talk to him. Right, I thought yo. it calculated, man. Just a little bit. I, I mean, I'm used to wax, but something ain't right, man. What's up, Yeah, man? talk to us. What's going on? What's you stressed wrong? about something? No, I'm calculated. Calculated? Yeah. What's, you know what that means? Yeah, like calculator. Look. <laughs> One time. <laughs> It's time for the calculator. It's time for the calculator. It's time for the calculator. Right, for the no calculator. Keep what's going. What's We're wrong, not going to do a therapy session. Come on, Wax. What's Talk wrong, to us, bro. What's wrong, yo? Good. Come on, bro. What's wrong? I paid my tithes and offerings this week. Huh? I paid my tithes and offerings this week. I feel blessed. Oh, you got new gloves and shit? Oh, yeah. They took my other glove. Oh, white gloves. Get yo, ready. did y'all see the motherfucking guy you crying? See? Y'all seen the guy crying at the what's TSA? Guys? No. Because they took wow. him to the back? Wow. Those golf this gloves? is dope. He's gonna look dope at the wedding, yo. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm dude, you need to get white gloves for the wedding. Yes. 100 percent. Let her get her, get his and hers white gloves. Yes, for the dude. Wedding. That's I fire, let touch bro. These too much, but I guess let me see. see them too? Yeah. yeah, these are fire, dude. <laughs> dude, okay, I love that idea for the wedding. White gloves. You should have had gloves. <laughs> Let's talk gloves. about other stuff for the wedding. I'm with it. Yeah. What are we thinking? Any other kind of fun plans for the wedding? Mm, never know. Can I get the clothes back? <laughs> what? Why do you need your clothes back? We're doing a podcast. You couldn't possibly have to use I these. Like, I, feel, I feel naked. You need that. You need something on your ass. Yeah, you need nah, some, nah. You need some just, hands feel, on your ass. I feel <laughs> naked and my eyes probably going to stay on it the whole time. You just focus on these the whole time. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It wouldn't be good to do the podcast and focus on Did you clothes. see? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Jawan Howard? Yes. What'd you think of that? Um, I don't give a fuck. Like, I mean, whatever. It's like you got to be able to hold your composure or keep your composure. Your, do you know? Yeah, you're a coach because you're representing an institution and the institution is like a is a university, right? So like universities are all about, you know. Humans are still humans though. Yeah. You don't know what oh, you're going through. Uh, as a human, I understand it. But like when you get paid millions of dollars to coach a basketball team, right? You have a responsibility. It's like if you go to work at Google, you can't punch somebody. Depends. <laughs> Who can you punch? It just depends. Only thing I don't understand about this is one thing I don't understand about this situation that nobody's talking about. Mm. The person who actually got smacked. Why did Juwan smack the assistant coach? He shouldn't have came. What did the assistant coach say or do (laughs) that called Juwan to smack him? He probably called him a bitch. I think that he's... It looked to me like he said something to one of his players. Oh. It looked like Juwan was sticking up for one of his players. Oh. Nah, but he did say he was defending himself. He said the guy came and pushed him. No, pushed that's him the up. coach. Also, the don't... The coach did that. He didn't smack him. He, he smacked the other he guy. Didn't. Don't do not do it when you're losing. That's like the best time to smack somebody. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Look at this. You're getting your fucking ass smoked. You're getting your ass smoked, and then you're upset, you're frustrated, so you're taking it out on him. That's pussy. I, I, if you I, were I, winning I, and the other coach talked some shit to you, slap him again. Yeah, man, that is so difficult, though, man, because emotions be so high. I don't even know why. They, and I, I saw people saying this. I don't even know why they do those line things. 
Why they they no, shake hands? No, you it's, have it's, to. You have to. Let, it, let everybody cool down, maybe, no. and then do it like 15, 20 minutes later. No, you can't. Like right after the game, you, know you just blew blew me out. You call time out. You stunting in my face. Yeah. Now you want me to shake your fucking hand? Yeah, but that's yeah. Show, you know you know what all the things the kid, the uh, coach also shows he's, he's they're coachable and they also has discipline. He the coach have to show like I got my warriors right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to have them right after the game, after the turmoil and fighting and everything. Because they aren't professionals. Go, 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 right? yeah, yeah. We're exactly. trying to teach these kids how to be men. I'm with you. Discipline. Yeah. Yes. I'm with you. I mean, like, like you know, when, when you see that, it's very hard to tell kids to keep their composure and control their temper when things like that happen. Mm -hmm. But I still that, want to know what play. the assistant coach said to make Jawan. What do you think he cool said? Like that? Then he dropped it? No. Nah, nah. You don't think he dropped it? Nah, they didn't use that one already. You don't think so? Nah, nah. You don't think he spoke about his favorite bag of chips? What? <laughs> Salt and... Man, shut up. Man. <laughs> no. I don't. I know. Do want... But he, he clearly said something, though. Because think about it, we've been watching Jawan Howard for a long time. We don't know him. Ja Jawan did this before. I think he did it last year. He pushed the guy. No, no. <laughs> yeah, something. No, you know, you know, he, he threatened, he tried to get at him and the coaches held him back. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, yeah I yeah, think yeah, that yeah. he's he's excitable, man. He likes yeah, to get like into it. the game. He's competitive. Like... I like it. Yeah, I love it. I mean, Long, it's great for us. It's entertaining. I mean, because I, I'm old school, though. I come from the Bob Knight era. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I've seen what crazy coaches really look like. That's yeah. not a crazy coach. Throw a chair. You know what Yo, I mean? Yo, who choked the coach? Bob Knight punched the cop. Fire. You know what I mean? That's your, oh, the cop wouldn't fucking turn the lights on at the gym or some shit. Like, really? What? Bob Knight has shot people. No. Yeah? What? I don't even know who Bob Knight is. Hold on. The coach of the... Uh, used to Indiana, coach Indiana Hoosiers. Indiana. Yes, man. Uh, where he shot? He shot one of his friends um, during a hunting trip. Oh, oh, like on some bush shit or Cheney shit. Well, yeah, yeah. They, they usually kill people out there. That's what they the do. The friend uh, uh, later came back and said it was all he lied. It wasn't an accident, and um, that he tried to cover it up. You know what I mean? Well, why did he shoot him? Who the fuck? Knows? Why you shoot him and don't kill him? And then, huh? Why you, huh? Yo, Bob Knight is fucking lit. Is he alive still? Barely. No, 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 because his, 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 his health is bad. No, man. It is, it is, That's man. what we heard. It is. He's older and his health is bad, man. Yo, who the dude, who, what's the coach that got choked by Sprewell? What's his name? Uh, PJ Carlissimo. Carlissimo. Legend. Put some mustard on it. <laughs> That's uh, a nice New show. York Knicks coaching legend. Bob Knight's still alive, right? Let me make sure before I say these things. Yeah. He is? 81. How old is he? 81. 81. 81. Oh, yeah. 81 years old. Angry. Niagara. Um, oh, oh yeah, that Viagra gets you upset. I guess since we, I guess we're kind of in positively brilliant with a fucking idiot. I guess we got to salute Dave Chappelle. Yes, um, got to salute Dave Chappelle. I think that whenever you're in a position of power, and you know you're able to empower other people and give them a look, mm. you should absolutely do it. Mm. And um, I, I got first of all, I got to salute Netflix for even doing that, but also you got to salute Tiffany Haddish, the whole Day Ready series. Yes, you know what I mean and Tiffany so, started. That what she was putting on four, four or five up and coming, not up and coming, but comedians that have been in the game for a minute, but really yep. haven't gotten that that break break yet. Yep. So she did that, and um, Bill Burr too. Burr did it too. Yep. Really? Yep. I didn't see Burr. Of course, man. Oh, I gotta check Burr's out. Who did he put on? Who was it? I think uh, he had one with Verzi. He had on. Uh, I think he did, or maybe he just produced. Versus, but he had like a series where he was like, here are the young guys. See, that's dope. Bill Burr presents. I love this. That's dope. that's dope. Comics should be putting their their people on and they should be putting the next generation on. I think that's very important. Like, What is the next generation with comedy? Though? That's the that's the crazy part, right? Well, comedy, yeah, go. Go on that. The only reason I say that is because like Dave Chappelle, his, his series is called Homecoming. Yeah. So it makes sense because the first people he put out is people from his hometown, right? Right. DC. Salute to Earthquake. Salute to Donnell Rollins. Yo, yeah. shots at Donnell. Yeah. Donnell's never done I a stand-up special. I love Donnell, man. You, you, you suck. You, you kind of want that, right? I love Donnell. Yeah, you need that. Yeah. Big Donnell fan. Yeah. It's really? really funny. It's Big funny. Donnell fan. Funny. Yeah. Donnell is... It's what? overrated. I know you. I know you love this. <laughs> I know you. Do. I know you love doing this. Ashley but Larry or, or I Donnell. love Donnell. Which one? He's a, he's a little overrated, guys. You think? Just a tad. He's consistent. Just a man. tad. Donnell, I just want to let you know. I know you're watching right now. Okay. Oh, oh let me yeah. let me be specific. Donnell, I know you're watching right now. Let me be specific. I know he's going crazy, right? But he, I'm, I'm off camera. <laughs> off camera. No, no. Sh Charlemagne is going to say to me. He goes, "I'm not going to lie." Donnell funnier than, funnier than Dave. No, I've told Donnell that. No, I've, said oh, this, okay. I've said this yes. on camera. Donnell, okay. I've seen Donnell be funnier than Dave. Yeah. Now, I didn't say he's overrated on stage. 
Oh. Life? Yes. Completely overrated. Yeah. Just yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I got think, you. I think especially on Instagram. Got yeah, you. I'm being a chef. Overrated. Fuck. Yo, he used uh, the fucking Miss Doubtfire shit. He, he'll be cooking that shit. <laughs> on stage. He's ordering in. No, but on stage. <laughs> there's not no, there's not too many people better than Donnell. Hilarious. Yes, hilarious. Yo, Donnell is, is just awesome. You hear that, Donnell? On stage, there's not too many people better than Donnell Rollins. He's a beast. He always acts like I don't give him his props, and I give him his props all the fucking time. What about, what about, what about the on field? the radio? What about on the Very field? Overrated. Very overrated. Very overrated on the radio. Yeah, Very yeah, overrated. yeah. Very overrated on radio. Very overrated on Instagram. Very <laughs> overrated as a chef. But on stage, he got it. He's that guy. He's that guy. He's, 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 he's one of those. He's so, one of, I enjoy watching Donnell. Yes. So I'm saying all that to say, it's good that Dave did a stand-up special on Donnell. Yes, I agree. It's a great percent. that he's doing one on Earthquake. I don't think Earthquake's ever had a special either. I can remember. Oh, no. Earthquake's had special. He's been around a long sure. time. Yeah. But, but you would think Donnell had one, right? But Donnell has. <laughs> no, he hasn't. <laughs> he hasn't done a... No, no never... he's done one for Showtime. I'm almost 100% Nah, sure he that. was on... He was all... Donnell was always He did the Netflix's. He did like a 15-minute thing for Netflix or a 30-minute thing for Netflix. He that did, wasn't uh, real special. Well, it depends what you call special, yeah, but like he's spec. <laughs> 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 he spec. He's spec. got work out there. He's, he's got work that's out there. Spec. But I'm, I'm but I, that's that's fire, and that and I think he's doing the right thing. And I like to see comics in a position, you know, to to put their friends on. And again, the next generation isn't necessarily about age. Mm -hmm. The next generation is the comics that the people haven't maybe heard of yet or haven't gotten that look or opportunity mm -hmm. that we got, you know? Yeah. So it's just like the second you get your shit moving, you should try to help out your boys. Did you ever become, have a character? You know, he's Ashley Larry. You think ever, Ashley Larry ever come back? But do you have something? What do you mean? Is Hezzy? What do you mean? Oh, am I going to bring Hezzy back? That's what I'm saying. He's Ashley Larry. You think he'd bring that back? I don't know. I don't think he'll bring that back unless they bring back Chappelle's show. I don't see him. He's never let it really die though. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, he hasn't let the Ashley Larry character die. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. I'm rich, bitch. That's yeah, he's Larry, never really right? let it die. Right. I think it's dope, man. I think, like I said, whenever you're in a position of power and you can empower others, do it. Do it. I'm glad that Dave did that. Because, I mean, that would that's kind of like a knock probably people would probably use against somebody like a Dave, right? Mm. Or, or they'd be like, well, who do you put on? You know what I mean? Who do you help usher into the game? That's true. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. It's weird to say that, though. Only because of the fact they've had actual TV shows, shows. and platforms. Yeah. So when like you say who is he put put into the game, I mean, shit, you uh, could say Donnell. Yeah. yeah. You know, I didn't really know Charlie Murphy until the Chappelle show like that. Yeah. Neil Brennan. Neil. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Same thing with Chris. Like, yo, go back to Chris Rock show on HBO. <laughs> Louis C.K. wrote on that show. Wanda Sykes. Yeah. Pootie Tang. I mean, if you look at if you look at the fucking goat, Eddie Murphy, it's like you want to look at somebody who put people on, bro. Martin. Uh, everyone. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Like Eddie yeah. and not only put people on, like made it a point to put people on. Yeah. Like even just look at the movie Boomerang. Like we talk a lot Probably about right. like I'm just saying, like, yeah. what I mean, put Dave on in uh in what and what's it called? Nutty Professor. Professor. Mm -hmm. Uh what else? Who else was I mean, Boomerang, so many people in everybody Boomerang. And literally in everybody in Boomerang, house. right? Like shit, Halle Berry, Halle right? Halle Berry yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I don't bro. know if that was her first role, but but still, like to to, I don't know, to have that much power in the game and be like, I'm gonna use my power to put these other people on, and I'm taking no part in their greatness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the tricky thing for a lot of people. It's like in like the rap game, it's easy to put someone on when you get a piece of the money they make. Yes. And, and it's you, like, and are you really putting them too. on, or are you just making money? <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? But like, but Eddie goes, yeah, I would like to make a move with these people, and then they go out and they flourish, flourish. and they have their careers. Flourish. That's the yeah. best way to do it. That's great. Like, don't I ask really, for nothing. I don't understand anybody that really just wants to be that lone individual. Mm. Like, Long if you top, are able to share that light, share that stage, empower people, put money in people's pocket, put people in position, why wouldn't you do it? Well, because yeah. some people, they can't think outside themselves. Yeah. And it's it's very difficult for them to do that. And, uh, yeah, that's the that's like the, the narcissism shit that we were talking about before. It's, Is it narcissism it's, it's, or just fear? Mm. Yo, I think fear inspires narcissism. But, yeah, it's fear. It's like, yo, if I put this guy on, what if they take my spot? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you can't, yeah, you can't have that mentality when it comes to creating. Because, like, if you look at the guys who've, who've, who've created long, long careers, they haven't done it by stifling the people around them. Like, you look at a guy like Drake, and I give him all respect for this. Is like, 
He's like, I'm going to find the new people in rap and I'm going to do a song with them. I'm going to blow them up. up. And now those people are going to be so grateful for me because I gave them their first number one. You're the godfather. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're the godfather now. It's so much easier to put all those people on because if you're not somebody who's out there putting people on, you know, it comes around. <laughs> not not only does it come around, those people... They no, can't wait all, to take you down. Yeah, that's right. Because when we talk about spots, your spot is your spot. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know why people even get, you know have any fear. If your spot is ordained mm. by a higher power and that's where you're supposed to be, that's where you're going to be. Mm. But guess what? That's the same for everybody else. So they're mm -hmm. going to become who they're going to become mm -hmm. regardless with mm -hmm. you without you. Even if it's mm -hmm. over. That's right. So why wouldn't yeah. you want to be part of that? That's right. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's You just got to be careful you don't become the old hater. You don't want to become the old hater. And we man. see it in every business. You see Ooh. the people who, you know, what is it? Uh, you either die a hero or live long or enough live long to become enough the villain. villain. Don't don't become that villain, bro. I, I did want to ask you. You got to die. Huh? Then you gotta die then. It's listen, when you die young, usually it's heroic. Like the way we remember you is heroic. Mm, like Tupac and Biggie. Hell yeah. yeah they, they didn't have enough time to let us down. Mm. You know? Oh, right. So you telling me a Bill Cosby would have died early. Shit. Oh man, he always would have been a legend. Yeah. That's a good question though. Yeah. Come on, Hugh his Hefner. Work, his work is still legendary. Yes. His work Absolutely. is still legendary. 100%. You can't take away the work. His work is still legendary. Yeah, everybody did something, that? though. You know what I'm saying? I oh, heard. I was going to ask you about um, Godfrey. Oh, yeah. Godfrey and T.I. Wait, you... what happened? What happened? Um, I'm I'm paraphrasing here, but... Uh, we got to get Godfrey on the pod, man. I, saw, I met, I I met Godfrey for the first time last week. Oh. We did Shay shit. I, I never met Godfrey before. Oh, really? I never met Godfrey before. We Unbelievably got... talented. Uh, yeah, he's a, come on, man. Unbelievably talented. His impersonations talented. are crazy. Unbelievable. Huh? Bull make it happen. She said she's in talks. In talks. She's in talks. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Salute to Godfrey. But I was, um, basically, Godfrey was the headliner for a show. Yep. In Atlanta. And um, I, I guess they let T.I. come on after him. Oh. And he was like, there's this unwritten rule in comedy that if you're the headliner, then nobody comes on after you. Uh -huh. What do you, what would, if you, if, just say if you were Godfrey in that situation, what would you think? I mean, yeah. Let me hear it. To make yeah, sure I want to. I want to make sure his. I'm, I'm quoting Godfrey correctly. He a comedian, right? Godfrey, hell yeah, funny, funny as shit. Go. I like funny shit. Oh yeah, I seen him the other day. At the chair, shoot. So it's his town. Atlanta's his yeah, town. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. I didn't go in to watch. Yeah. Oh, I didn't go in to watch Ti because. As a headliner, no one's supposed to go up after you. Yeah. Right. But as there's a code in comedy that I follow. I'm not watching what you can't do better than me. Yeah. You're not a comedian to me. You, you're you working your way. I give him... You're, he's taking it seriously. I don't know how long he's going to do that. What do you think, Schultz? I weirdly don't have ego about this stuff. Um, I understand that there are people that are famous and they get opportunities because they're famous. And especially within comedy. Now, I've gotten to a point in comedy where I also get opportunities because of where I'm at in comedy. You know, like when I was younger and I'm going up at uh, the cellar in New York Comedy Club and then famous people would come in, they would do what's called drop in sets. And by dropping in, they might push you back or move your time or even push you off the show. And then I got to a position where I was where they are. And now when I need to go on stage and I didn't book shows, I'll be able to just pop into okay. your comic club with a seller. And then I'm kind of interrupting people's sets. And that's the kind of natural cycle of comedy. Like, mm -hmm. that's what you want to be. You don't look at those people. Like, when I was younger, I never looked at Dave Spell or Chris Rock when they popped in. I never resented it. I was like, I want that opportunity. Yeah, please. And, and when you get so busy in this career, and you understand this, obviously, because you're incredibly busy, like, it's hard for you to schedule shit. You don't know when you'll have a night off mm -hmm. when you can work on something. So once I got to that level of busy, I was like, oh, now I see why they just pop in when they can. They're not planning their week two weeks in advance. Mm -hmm. They're going, oh, shit, I'm in New York and I have the night off. I got a meeting canceled. I'm going to go do some stand up. So it's nothing personal. So I wouldn't take that personally in that situation. Godfrey might have a different experience with his fans and he wants to close out the show, et cetera. That's on him. We should talk to him. But, but you hear what he said, though. He's saying that he's not better than him. You doing that and don't mind Chappelle and him doing that because you, you felt like in that time they was better than you. Yes. So you don't mind them doing that. LeBron come to your basketball. But there team. are people that pop in that aren't better. 
there are people that are popping up, but they're just more famous. Oh. And fame is what allows that to happen. Okay. Right. So well, it's like it's it not go. necessarily skill. Like there are comics that are famous, but they're just not that good. Yeah. And but they're allowed to pop in because by those people being there, the seats in that club get filled because the word gets around. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Madonna tried stand up. The, once comes. Madonna tried stand up at the cellar. What are you going to not let Madonna go up in front of you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. But it's his shows. So that's a different situation. Maybe he is a way he wants his shows to go. And maybe he'd be totally fine if T.I. went on earlier. If it's your sure. show, you get to dictate what the how that show looks. So I'm fine with that. I th he, he was saying that T.I. came on after him. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, if yeah. he wants his show to go a certain way, I get that. Me personally, I don't give a fuck. Like I had I had Seinfeld and George Wallace come drop in on a show of mine. Right. And they went before me. And I was Shit. totally cool with that. If I was honored. You could have let Seinfeld go after you. And I would have been fine with that too. Yeah. Yeah, but he don't yeah. want that smoke. He want that real show. <laughs> That's the difference. He would never be able to follow me. He could never. So it's like, you got to go on first. George Wallace probably, but Seinfeld could never follow me. Do, do, so, yeah, yeah. do people sign so up? Again? I could go to the cell and I could sign up to be a comic that night? Nah, it's not exactly like that. How'd that work? You got to like, uh, you know, work on your craft and then you got to get some people to recommend you. Bag to, your pants. The thing. Yeah, you got to get definitely bag your pants. I'm, I'm working on Get it. married. That's another thing. Got to get married. <laughs> got to make sure that you get married. So you basically saying life has to happen first before I can be a comic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. life has to happen first. It's 100%. about commitment. They don't respect people yeah. who don't make commitments. So, yeah, I mean, if I'm T.I., I'm just saying, I'm just telling him like, yo, pop in earlier. Go on before the headliner goes on. Mm -hmm. You know, that's usually the best thing to do. But again, but his schedule might not permit. Anyway. You, want, you want the headliner to big you up anyway, T.I., because he just... Yeah, into and the club should probably tell Godfrey, like, low-key, the club should tell Godfrey, yo, T.I. might be popping in. If you're already on stage, would you mind if he goes on after you and does a few minutes? And low-key, it's like, that's a great time to build with somebody. T.I. can come in, he's going to watch your set, and he's going to go, holy shit, this guy's really good. Maybe he could help me with some stand-up. Now mm -hmm. you've built a connection with someone. Yeah. You know, you can help him with his stand up. He can help you with things. And then now you're cooking. I, I, I you know, I would love I mean, I, I would love to hear talk to Godfrey about it. But I, just, I would ask Godfrey one question. Like if it wasn't T.I., if you were the headliner of a show mm -hmm. and to your point, Dave Chappelle walks in, Chris Rock walks in, John Stewart, whoever, the, whoever the, the GOATs are. Yeah, they can do whatever they want. Would you I, let? I think, yeah, I like, so. If you was headlining, yes, he would. if you yes, you'd be like, yeah, Dave, sure. He, you, he, you, he you would actually something. you close the show and be like. You know what? I got a special treat. I got something for y'all. Yeah. Uh -huh. And boom. Yeah. Your day but, but, comes but, but, but out. He and he said that. You don't, that. Yeah. he, because right now T.I.'s been doing comedy a month. He's yeah. not good it's yet. The, yeah, it's T.I. I That's get what it. He it's, said. And, and by the way, I respect that. Godfrey's been doing yeah. comedy 20 years. I respect that. Yes. So, I get it. You know, there, and, you know, it's also, it's also up to T.I. Like, if he wants to build goodwill in the comedy community, it's up to him to reach out. Like, That's true, too. Is he good? I'll be honest. When, when, when Wallace and Seinfeld came to that show, the club hit me up before and asked me. Yeah. And I was like, y'all don't got to ask me. But they did it at as, as a courtesy. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. They yeah, did it as yeah, a courtesy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that is just something because they're comics, they understand. So if I'm T.I. and I want to pop into any show, I'm reaching out and I'm going to the producer. I'm going to headliner the show and I'm like, hey, what's up, man? Yo, it'd be awesome if I could do a few minutes on your show. Nobody's going to say no. But asking is going to mean so much to that yeah. comic, knowing that he doesn't have to. Respect. He's respecting the game. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Godfrey said that too. Godfrey, I, forgot, I don't know if he said code of conduct or there's unwritten rules in comedy. Mm. I mean, if I was trying to be a stand-up, I would want to know those unwritten rules. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just respect the game. You I mean, low-key, who, who T.I.? I? I haven't listened to it yet. But like, no. it, I mean, like, I wouldn't even listen to a comic before they've done it three years minimum. Okay. <laughs> like, it just takes so long to get good at this shit. Yeah. Do, you, do you think it could transfer over? Because he could do a great wordplay at being a rapper. Do you think it's just wordplay to be able to do it? No, works? no. But what he'll benefit from is comfort on stage and comfort in front of people. So yeah. immediately, the audience is going to feel more comfortable. And two, he's famous and people are curious. So not only is he comfortable in front of people, those people really want to know what he has to say. So those are two barriers that he's got to get. But he's got to have comics working with him and helping him with his jokes and he's got to be writing every telling. single day with them. Why not just do the live podcast? Well, he did that. Well, keep doing it. I loved Expeditiously. I thought that was a great podcast. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not mad at him. You know, you want to you want to, you know, you want to test his stand-up chops? Cool. That's like Stand-up is a different muscle. Yes, yeah, it's, it's tennis. You know? Yeah, I yeah. wish everybody did stand-up. I wish everybody tried it. I did and I sat my ass down. <laughs> there we go. And that's <laughs> why you respect it. it. 
I, I, I respect it before I even I don't like it. I don't like the pressure. Like, I don't like that. Like, that shit ain't for me. Like, it's pressure. You can't but pass you the like ball at the all. Pod? Like, when we did the pod live, it That's was a good different. environment. Yeah, it's true. I it's, can't explain it. I, it's different. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got, you got, it's a team. Like, you yeah, got someone you else the out ball. there. Yeah. Can, yeah. And, and, and you know what else? It's not the expectation. Mm. There's no expectation when you're just having a conversation. Yeah, it's like if it's funny, that's a bonus. That's yes. right. Yeah. You write these jokes. You spend yeah. your hard time <laughs> crafting these motherfucking jokes. Mm. You got an expectation yeah. that you're going to go on that day and this going to rip. <laughs> and you say that shit and motherfuckers is staring at you just like them cameras are right now. Yep. <laughs> just looking at you. Yeah. Recording your dumb ass. Confused. Confused. Like, why, would, why would you think that's funny? Why would you think that's funny? <laughs> <laughs> Who Do did you try to be funny? Do you write stuff down trying to be funny or just... <sighs> like, now that I'm like, creating now that i'm creating material you know and i have to generate new material because once this tour is over i want to be able to build that new set uh yeah but i don't i don't work well writing it down like i work well like yes like talking out. like then write it after you say like, it. i'll have an idea and i'll be like yo Charlemagne, what do you think about this and then we'll just kind of talk out the idea because my conversation my economy is so conversational like i i don't yeah. go here's the joke it's like yeah, I, it's, yeah, this is I hate people who try to be funny. Oh my god! Yeah, knock knock. I'm not, I'm not even doing even <laughs> like even all the, all the really funny people I know yeah. are don't try to be funny. Yeah. yeah, unless you're a character. When people play characters and they try to be, funny. I don't like that either. I, but it fucking kills me. It kills <laughs> me. Like you when they're like just a, when they're a weirdo up there. Like like Urkel. Yeah, like but Urkel's not doing stand up. But like you know the people who just be like weirdos, <laughs> like and they're just doing kind of like one liner jokes, but they're just like weird. Carrot top? No, like uh, like Dice Clay or something like that. Oh, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah, 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 when yeah, I know yeah. that you're not, that's not who you are yeah. and you're just doing these jokes, uh, I'm watching like um, a cartoon. See, the thing about Dice Clay, he was funny until he wasn't. Oh, that's right. You guys have a little thing. Nah, I fuck with Clay, but it's like, I don't know him personally. It's like, I fuck with him. But it's just like, yeah. that character runs his course is what I'm saying. You right. know what I mean? Right. Like you can't stay in that character forever. I, I thought that was actually Fonzie. I thought this clip was. Fun. That's what I call. I called him a fat Fonzie. <laughs> <laughs> There's an epic clip of you two guys going at it. No, they edited it. My, my shoe. I had some. I had some slappers that. Day. Oh, they cut him out because <laughs> they, they were trying to promote Dice Clay's show. Yeah. Oh, when Dice Clay had a show on VH1 and Wendy had a show oh. on VH1. So they was like, "We need you to go in on this." This literally what the producer said. Spoke to my guy Greg Wax, VH1. They was like, "We need you to really go in." Cause I guess that's something that Greg didn't peep. Like, yo, so I mean, you'll get in when you yeah, want to win. Yeah. So I'm like, we need you to go in on them. So I was just hitting them. Boom. You look like a fat Fonzie. You look like a, <laughs> a terminator, a terminator that never made it out of the lab. Like, you know, <laughs> all types of shit. I, was, I mean, I was going to they, they, oh, the leather jacket. Yeah. <laughs> in the shade. <laughs> you ain't get burnt up. I was confused for a second. Uh, I was like, I, I, I forgot what the exact word was. Like, you like a terminator oh, that didn't good. make it out of the lab. Like, I was going. And he was like, who the fuck? Like, he just got mad. Yeah, he was yeah. like, who is this? It was yeah. no jokes. It was yeah. like, fuck you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wendy sidekick, you fucking pre cum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He called you pre cum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what he said. Pre cum, get somebody pregnant? Huh? Wax, what's going on? What's Can up, man? Talk to us, man, because there's a problem. Man. Nah, nah. No, we're going to pay some bills. <laughs> we're going to pay some bills. And when we come back, we, no, we got to get, get to the bottom of this shit, man. Something's up. We're going to have an intervention. Something's up, man. Something's up. Something's up. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second, pay some bills. Uh, typically, life insurance gets more expensive as you age. So it's smart to get a policy sooner rather than later. Policy genius, that's one word, by the way, is your one stop shop to find and buy the insurance you need. Okay, click the link in the description or head to policygenius.com and answer a few questions. In minutes, you can compare personalized quotes from top companies to find your lowest price. You could save. 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. The team of licensed experts at Policy Genius will help you understand your options and apply for the policy you choose. Policy Genius's team works for you, not the insurance companies. You can trust them to offer unbiased help and advocate for you at every step until you're covered. Policy Genius doesn't add on extra fees and doesn't sell your info to third parties. Okay. Since 2014, Policy Genius has helped over 30 million people shop for insurance and placed over $120 billion in coverage. So head to policygenius.com to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. Now, this podcast is also brought to you by Coors, baby. These days, everything is go, go, go. 
It's nothing but nonstop hustle all the time. Work, friends, family, a million pressing social issues, and an expectation to be on 24-7. Sometimes you just need a moment to turn off and hit reset, and that's when you reach for a Coors Light. It's made to chill, okay? Honestly, Coors Light, best beer to hang out at the crib. You got the puppy petting the dog, watching the TV, cooling, chilling. If you're out in Miami, it's still hot. You're on the porch enjoying a cold one. There's only one beer out there that's literally made to chill, and that's Coors Light, okay? The mountains on the bottles and cans even turn blue when your beer is cold. It lets you know. That way, you always know when it's time to chill. When you need to hit reset, just open a Coors Light. It's mountain cold refreshment made to chill, okay? Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. Coors Light is cold lagered and cold filtered and cold packaged. It's literally made to chill. It's crisp and refreshing as the Colorado Rockies. Perfect for a moment to unwind. Okay. You got to go get yourself some cores. I know you're listening right now. You're like, mm, that'd be refreshing. A nice, cool Coors Light. You can even hear the can open in that. Get that. Coors Light is the one I choose when I need to unwind. So when you want to hit reset, reach for the beer that's made to chill. Okay. Get Coors Light in the new look delivered straight to your door with Drizzly or Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com slash idiots. Celebrate responsibly with Coors Light. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Now let's get back to the show. All right. Time for some church announcements. Show see what we got. Yo, infamous tour. Um, yo, the Toronto shows are on. Thank God uh, Toronto and Canada opened up. So we don't have to reschedule the Toronto shows. I'm very excited. The 4th and 5th will be out there. Meridian Hall, Toronto. Can't wait to uh, do these shows out there. Very excited about that. Also, infamous tour. We've got uh, New Orleans, Alabama, Cleveland, and Pittsburgh, and New York City. We had a second show at Radio City Music Hall. We will see you at that one. Um, and uh, also Vancouver and Atlantic City. So theandrewshows.com. Go there. Get those tickets before they are sold out. Go right now ASAP. Get them. What else we got, boys? Wax, you got any uh, church announcements? Yes, sir. You already know LA, your local dispensary. Get the Who's Wax. Um, got the Who's Wax gummies. You know what I'm saying? I guess that was the last time you got Who? Thank you, good sir. These yeah. things will knock you out. Be careful with these Who's yeah, Wax sorry, gummies. Get easy, you know what I'm saying? So um, get to go to whoswax.com. Go get your gummies. Go get a subscription. Go to Who's Wax Airsoft and go um, get your teams ready, man. 10 on 10 podcast wars will be definitely coming up soon. And I got Who's Wax Transportation. I got a trucking company. So um, all y'all CDL drivers looking for drivers, come holler at me. Uh, my church announcements are simple. Make sure you go pre-order Finding Tamika. What happened to Tamika? Um, well, that is the name of me and Kevin Hart's first Audible project. Oh, shit. Yes, on SBH Productions, Short Black and Handsome Productions. Uh, it is created by the good people at Color Farm Media. Uh, Erica Alexander, salute to Erica, salute to Ben. Um, that will be out on March 3rd, actually. Yeah, that's amazing. That'll be that'll be out on March third, man. Congratulations, so, so. that's amazing, um, dude. Yeah, pre-order finding Tamika right now. Duval yeah. Duval is hilarious. Hold on, let me finish. <laughs> Duval is hilarious. Yeah. So <laughs> so yes, finding Tamika is about the disappearance and um death of you know Tamika Huston, you know from Spartanburg, you know Spartanburg, South Carolina, and it's going to be a ten part um series on Audible that is going to you know explore. Her disappearance and her death. So I know it sounds dark, but, you know, hopefully it leads to some closure for the family as well as preventing, you know, things like that from happening in the future. All right. So make sure y'all check that out. Pre-order it on Audible right now. Let's get back to the show. Now, you said you think Duval is hilarious. We know this. I mean, just the things he'll text me out of nowhere. He just called me. What he did with something going on? Who you betting with in World War Three? <laughs> just the best. It's just the best. <laughs> the best. Who right? is it? It gotta be the person that got the most, right? <laughs> what? Who got the most? Yo, he's just the best. Dude. <laughs> who y'all betting with though? Uh, who who won the game? Man, who won it? I don't it, know. It's gonna be interesting, bro. It's going down right now. Is it? Yeah. Russia they invaded Ukraine. Yeah, but everybody's using like real specific language, except like, for Joe Biden. Who's not saying invaded? What his dumbass? I said, did anybody shoot? He, what do you mean? What I don't it, know. I don't mean. Listen, I don't never know what invade means. I just know that they invaded Ukraine. Yeah, but okay. So everybody, uh, who knows exactly what's going on here? I think that there's a 
there's a lot of different interests and we don't know exactly what everybody wants. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Russia is going to say, hey, uh, you know, we told uh, NATO that NATO can't expand into Eastern Europe. Okay, so NATO is this conglomerate of countries. We are part of NATO. Uh, It's basically I don't know what what would you say NATO is essentially. It's like just the West. Right. Uh, Is it just the West? Basically, like Europe, America, Europe, right? America, yeah, and it's yeah. like our alliance and how we like uh, share our influence or spread our influence. Who else, Chris? Who else is in NATO, Chris? Well, it's the Northern Atlantic Treaty Organization. So, in theory, you're supposed to be bordering the Northern Atlantic, but over the years, it's expanded to basically most of Western Europe. And I think Andrew hit it. It's the fact that it's in Russia's backyard now, potentially getting into Eastern Europe, is what kind of set everything off. And it did so go basically in- Putin and Chappelle, and you don't want. <laughs> <laughs> he don't want them in his backyard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo, Chris, sound, don't, Chris sound like Siri. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he don't want them in his backyard. Basically. So that's, I think, what, what he will say is that you guys have been expanding and adding these countries to NATO. And I think that he said if the Ukraine says that they are joining NATO, which they're an ally, I guess, of NATO, but they're not actually repping a set. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, you're not actually banging a gang, but you're like affiliated. You're doing a crip walking and you're not a crip. Right. But it's like, yo, if you start banging crip, like, it's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think uh, NATO expanded. I think Poland might have joined Chris. And I think maybe uh, the Czech Republic. I I think there's, I'm not Also Turkey. So it's, 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 it's starting to surround Russia a bit on its Eastern front, which, right. I mean, you know. You can understand their position. It's sort of similar to go back in American history when Russia started to really make inroads in Cuba and even was going to put a nuclear weapon in Cuba. Right. And that was a line that we couldn't let them cross because it's our backyard. Or exactly. imagine Russia doing something in Mexico. That would be the equivalent. So that's, I guess, what their argument would be. Mm-hmm. Then, So what they're saying is that these two regions that are in the Ukraine, I think it's called Donetsk and like Lub- Lubosk. I, don't I looked know. it up this morning. I couldn't pronounce it. Once I yeah, we, it even right. if we did know what they were, we wouldn't pronounce it right anyway. Point is, they, they're calling these regions separatist regions. And the wording is really funny how all these countries are, are creating this scenario because they're basically wording it in a, in a way where they're not the one causing the problem. Mm-hmm. So... Russia's going, we're not invading Ukraine. We're recognizing the sovereignty of Lubatsk and Donetsk or whatever they're called. That's good. So currently those those regions are they have like a uh, separatist movement. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably been happening since like 2014. Now, I don't have uh, 100 percent like empirical evidence to support this, but I would imagine that those separatist movements are being propped up by Russia. I mean, if I'm Russia and I want to expand into the Ukraine, which I'm sure it does. I mean, Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, was the capital of the Soviet Union, mm-hmm. right? Like Moscow is a new capital, right? Like the Soviet Union. I don't know if it started, Chris, in Kiev, but like that was the capital. So you think Russia like sent, sent them there to of course, cause they're... that conflict to have a reason to go in there? But that's what every country does. Like we yeah. have people causing conflicts in other places. Like this is what every country does because you want to expand your interests. So they're so they pay for these separate gr- separatist groups to be propped up like mm-hmm. this is what we do in the Middle East all the fucking time. Right. They pay for these separatist group to be propped up. And then when they're ready to be defended, they go, we are recognizing their sovereignty. So they're not saying they're invading. They're just recognizing the sovereignty of these independent yeah, regions. Now, Ukraine is going, they ain't sovereign, motherfucker. Yeah, that's yeah, our yeah. shit. They could act up if they want. But that's still our shit. Yeah. So Joe Biden's supposed to speak on it soon. I think he was going to talk at one. Yeah, well, I don't know what he could say because he already said if they knocked, they were going to buck. <laughs> He's pussy. He Democrats don't. are pussy. Democrats don't fight nobody. And Democrats don't do nothing unless you got no weapons. If it's Demi. a bunch of fucking brown people in the Middle East that got no weapons at all, then they'll blow them up. But if it's another country that actually got fucking weapons, they don't do shit, pussies. Uh, well, uh, listen. Good do it, pussy. Hey, hey, talk hey, all that shit. Talk about, talk about. Good for them. Yeah. <laughs> right? We chill. I read, yeah, right? I read, I read, uh, I read something the other day where... um. This actually happened recently. I think it was back in January, but it was uh, all of these all of these countries. I think it was Russia. It was China. It was America. I think even Germany. It was all of these countries. And they said, look, none of us can win a nuclear war. Well, yeah, we all die. That's right. Nobody yeah. benefits. Mutually assured war. destruction. So good. Home. You know what I mean? That's why I think everybody should be able to carry guns. <laughs> 
So that, that, when everybody not, say when everybody carries a gun, motherfuckers know how to act right. That's the idea with everybody having a gun. That's what I'm saying. If you really get into it with somebody when everybody got a gun, son, you really want it with that person. Easy, Are, yeah. Do you really think like we, we invented this idea of free speech, right? Do you really think you could say whatever the fuck you want without a gun? No. <laughs> If you can fight. Yeah, but not everybody yeah. can fight. That's true. Yeah. Like, how the hell, you know, these little dudes out More here in confident. America are supposed to say whatever the fuck, but if everybody got a gun, then it's like, I got opinions well, all of a sudden. No, I, no, I take, no, you're right, but then there's also something else that's better than a gun that makes you have to say whatever the fuck you want. A woman. No, this phone. <laughs> oh, phone. <laughs> yeah, because now you don't got to deal with nobody. I can get bucked yes. with this shit. And you ain't got to see Fuck a me. gun. Fuck what? you. I'll, t- I'll curse your mom out, your daddy out, yeah. say you suck my dick nah, you fuck your whole, You yeah. fuck your whole career up, And what too. you gonna do, Brock Lesnar? Nothing. <laughs> All I'm trying to say is like, yo, Russia took Crimea under, I think it was Obama, right? I don't know. They didn't do shit. I just know that. And it- then now under Biden, they just take in, they're just gonna take a little bit more of the Ukraine. You don't want that, though. Say the what? next thing you know, everybody's going to start taking little pieces of what they want. What that, do you think China's going to do to Taiwan? Oh, yeah. ta- Taiwan is gone, and we're not going to do shit about it. What do you think? What do you think? Yo, Taiwan, there's no, I don't know what Taiwan is. Chris, what would, what, what do you think? <laughs> what's if, Taiwan? If Russia goes in the... <laughs> Yo, what's Taiwan? So what, you talking about China? Is that what you're talking about? That little <laughs> island off China? <laughs> if, if Russia goes into the Ukraine, what happens to China and Taiwan, Chris? Uh, it's toast for Taiwan. Unfortunately, but I, I don't I don't think China even bothers to invade the military really because it'd be bad press. They'll just they'll just wait it out. You think it China slowly, cares like about hunting. press? They have a they have like a million Chinese Muslims. They do care about press. That's why they bought everything. I mean, look at the Olympics. They were yeah. anything negative about China. They got a million bots jumping on immediately. Yeah. They're, they're super press conscious. Ah, OK, gotcha. Fair enough. Fair enough. I guess. Yeah, That's I don't weird. know. I, it's just weird that. World War Three could be right around the corner, and then like, hey, 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 we me, talk about Steph dropping fifty. Let me tell you something, bro. <laughs> when it comes to World War Three, all lives don't matter, bro. I mean, <laughs> okay. what, what would that affect? Uh, this is a hundred percent. We about to learn today that all lives do not matter because they're gonna take that little piece of Ukraine, and the rest of the world is just gonna be like, I guess that's Russia. All lives don't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Because right. nobody wants that smoke. Nope. Like, do, do you want Americans to die for that shit? Pull up, no. homie. Yo, no. Ukraine, pull up. Listen, none of like, us. Why listen, we not pull up? None of us are built for World War Three. No. Nah. As much as we like to talk shit about Fuck the grandparents and the great grandparents. Nah, they was built for that shit. They bro. were built for that yep. shit, bro. Yep. Okay. 1945. They didn't have a lot of the luxuries that we have right now. Try to pull up to a fucking World War with your pronouns. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Introducing yourself. They shooting. Hey, they? Who's they? I'm just who's saying, they? What, 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 would it, what would it really affect, though? <laughs> no. yeah, I, I don't think World War III going to be out here guns and shooting and all that. I think it's going to be more of like fucking us up with that food and stuff like that. Probably. You they, got that. They, taking the phones away, taking the computers away, like yeah. fucking up. I, think, I don't think World War III for us is going to be people on the street shooting. No, nah, it's going to be It's gonna, It's going. going to be a little bit of It's going to be both. Yeah. It's going to absolutely be Shutting both. I mean, look, down, my, my feeling like of is like, I, I believe in supporting our allies because we're going to need our allies to support us when we're in situations. That being said, if if you're an ally, like, you got to show you want it. But you, don't you got to be an equal ally? Yeah, right? Though? Meaning, like, I'm America, like, America, bro. Like, yeah, let a country that, yeah. you know, has equal value. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, and, I'm, yeah. And, and of course, arrogant Americans will think no country does. Facts. But we know Facts, what the superpowers though. could be. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? All, I guess what Russia I'm saying, and China right now are superpower, bro. Nah, no, yeah. Russia's not even close. All right, nobody, together they are. Yeah. Nobody afraid of Putin. China, together they are? Nobody afraid of Putin. All right. All right. Putin, Putin's just posture. Nobody fucking afraid of Putin. Putin not, I Putin don't not, know, bro. Putin not invading Great Britain. No one's afraid of Putin. It's just posturing. I don't know. But he's put in a situation probably where he has to posture. Now, look, the whole thing about this that nobody's even discussing, and this could be like a play, like this, they could be baiting Putin into invading so that they can remove, they can put sanctions on Putin and remove Europe's oil and gas dependency on Russia and transfer that. But isn't to the that Middle why East. Russia got with China? Say what? Isn't that why Russia got with China? Well, I imagine that they want to supply gas to as many people as possible, right? That's the natural resources. But like, if I'm if I'm Saudi Arabia, mm-hmm. I want to be the one supplying gas to Europe. I don't want Russia to do that shit. Yeah, so right. I, if I'm Saudi Arabia, I'm sitting pretty right now. I'm like, oh yeah, put some sanctions on Russia. Shut that shit off. 
Don't let those pipelines happen. Don't let Russia do it. Don't let Russia have any connection to supplying Europe uh, yeah. oil and gas. And then I'll do all that supplying. And that's just big bread for me. That's no brainer. So they could be the ones that benefit the most. Chris, why did Russia and China get together? Didn't they get together so Russia could avoid those type of sanctions? Like they're not scared of the U.S. sanctions as long as they got China? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting because they've been historical enemies. So them getting into bed together suggests that something else is up. But I like what Andrew's saying about the oil. I mean, you notice the big announcement today was they're, they're shutting down the German Germany to Russia pipeline yep. that was under construction. Yep. That's, uh, you know, Somebody Germany's the biggest economy in Europe. So that's where but the most bro, money is. had was. to know that, though, right? Follow the money. Money. I'm with you, but Putin had to know that was going to so, happen, though. Okay, so maybe he knew that was going to happen, but maybe this is how he gets a posture for his people and look tough for his people while they're about to go through a very cold winter. Because if you mm-hmm. know you're about to lose, if you know you're about to lose access to Europeans, uh, to that European yeah. bread for all that yeah. gas and oil, you're going to have to at least show your people that there's a sign of strength. I don't know, man. Something ain't right, bro. Yeah, something ain't right. You remember you f- when Thanos was just sitting there? Yeah, something ain't and right. And Thor said, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. one of them, either Tony, he was like, you know, this is a trap, right? Yeah. <laughs> something ain't right, bro. But, but who's Thanos? I don't know. That's what It you ain't America to. right now. <laughs> it ain't Putin. It definitely I, ain't, it ain't Biden for sure. It could be China. It might be China. China don't like us. They got to like us. We yeah, buy the shit. They make the China shit. China actually gotta, might be Tony Stark. Shirt on. You got, I'm sure you got a China jacket on, too. Yeah. China makes it. We buy it. Like, they need us. Phones from China, right? Yeah. China. I don't know, man. Something ain't right. I'm just, I'm, I'm like Duval with this one. What you mean? YOLO. I'm just out here living my best life, Yo, man. I'm, I'm just the, saying, we, like. We enjoying the moment, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying being a father, being a husband until I'm not. That we <laughs> it could be thirty years from now, forty years from now. Hey, it could be thirty days. We don't know, bro. Good, like I, I'm yeah. not, I'm not stressing myself with shit that I don't understand. Yeah. If That's, we, if I don't know, if we go to war, yeah, we just gotta, yeah, go we go farming, to war. man. Go just, go farming. Just wait this shit out to the summer, bro. I'm not trying to do no fucking. Dinner, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like if this shit was in like June, maybe we could fight a war in Russia, baby. But not nah, ain't fighting no time. February war in it's Russia. Early, bro. Right? Come on, it's that, it's like, what what are you doing, Biden, bro? Just wait. It's negative like, twenty degrees, right? By June, we'd be yeah, waiting hey. till like, man, is it not twenty twenty three yet? Come on, bro. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Like I'd be just like World War Two. What's that? It started in thirty nine. We didn't get in until forty one. I like that. We gotta, hey, we gotta come late, bro. Huh? Yeah. We didn't get into forty. I thought we got when, when, when the forty. I thought it was forty. No, when the forty. Who came around in forty five then? No, I World War Two was forty five. Forty five was. Forty five was ended. No, forty five was. Um, when 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 was when was uh, Pearl Harbor? That was forty. Hold on, I got like a bit. Chris, this is your people. You should know about this. When, when was uh, when did your people attack Pearl, Pearl people. Harbor? Uh, I think it was December December seventh, forty one. I think. So it ended in 45 then. Maybe that was it. I think it ended in 45. Yeah, maybe that was it. Yeah. It ended in 45? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we didn't give a fuck about World War II until two years after it was released. Oh, we, we, we gave a fuck, but we oh, were just yeah, like, we're we going to let these motherfuckers fight amongst together. themselves. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Jama said 2025. That's what he said it was over? That's he, no, he said that's when it was going to start for us. Oh, World, World War, War III? III? He said 2025. Well, it's looking, looking accurate. He's <laughs> right <laughs> looking accurate. Ain't nobody got time for war, bro. Like, no, man. Yeah. Come on, Let people bro, be diplomat. Dipl- dip- 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 <laughs> let people be camera in them, man. <laughs> <laughs> let people be dipset, yeah, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let people be diplomatic. Ain't All that right. a bitch, though? I just got rich. We gonna go to war. I know. Come on, yo. That Come shit, on, man. bro. I know, but that's why I said God got a sense of humor. So I'm just, I'm cooling. Like, yeah. Whatever happens, happens. We out here, man. We living our best life. You just got to be good to people. Treat people the way you want to be treated. I'm not stressing over things that I cannot fucking control. I do want to be aware, though. Yeah. And I think everybody should be aware. Yeah. And I think it looks very crazy when people put other things Ahead of fucking potentially World War Three. Yeah. Like, how is that not the top headline today? Yeah, for real. Yeah. How? Yeah. Yeah, what is the top headline today? Like, LeBron's going to play with his kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the top headline, Taylor? CNN. Yeah, what is CNN talking about? Just in about? general. Goddamn. Pussy. What's CNN talking about? What you gonna do, Biden? Nothing, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> they all pussy, bro. Democrats are pussy. All you you really want, like, yo, keep it a buck. Yo, we're at war. You want a Democrat president? Be honest. No, 
No, we've had we've had Democrat presidents. No, you think, you think times Trump of would peace? Button? Times of peace? Give me a Democrat, bro. Like, let's just everybody love each other. Let's just everybody support each other. Yeah. Let's just everybody hug each other. Let's like let's push ourselves towards the most equal and equitable society as possible. But isn't World that War want? times? Give me a fucking maniac conservative. A maniac conservative, yes. What do you think Trump I, I, I'm just, I, is this something don't seem right about none of this? Bro? I bet I guarantee you that none of this shit would have happened if uh, Trump, Trump was president. He would have no. scared everybody. They, yo, Iran tried some shit and they fucking blew that dude up while he was driving to work. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. They yeah. blew that yeah. motherfucker up while he was driving to work. Yeah. There's no way in hell. There's a reason why they took Crimea under Obama, didn't do shit during Trump. Trump, Trump, Trump and wouldn't then, do nothing to Putin, though. Say what? He wouldn't do nothing to Putin. We'll see. That was his guy. Yeah, Trump. We'll yeah. see. Yeah, you're right. That was his guy. Is it his guy or is it? Is it the this Democrat? Said. Is it the Democratic establishment's guy? And that's why whenever Democratic establishment is in there, they take whatever the fuck they want. You want to talk about collusion? Mm. Why is it that Russia gets bigger every time we got a Democrat in there, mm. and when we got a Republican in there, that shit don't move? Mm. Just that's ask it. yourself who's I mean, colluding. Listen, that's thinking. What you're doing right now is thinking. I'm just saying. No, yeah. I'm serious. Biden's those are those are critical thinking skills because like oh, we discuss, we spend so much time discussing what we think as opposed to actually thinking. That's thinking. Hey, bro, I'm just I want a maniac. If it's wartime, give me a fucking yeah, maniac. Yeah. I want somebody, I want somebody that we go afterwards, we go, man, he went a little bit too far. Yeah. That he, <laughs> like that's, won. he went too won, far. Though. God, yeah. you didn't overreact. You didn't have to blow up everybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, remember what happened with, with Japan with the nuclear bombs? Like, like I, you know Americans was like, two? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Two? Like one was probably good. Speaking of too far. <laughs> it's two, 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 two. Okay. <laughs> I think Andrew just went they blew up a little Japan. too far. No, was that too far? I'm saying America, we dropped two, bro. I mean, listen, if you're gonna do it, do it. That that's the thing, but it's like we yeah, did it. Nobody wins. Yeah, I mean that, we I did it that, again. By the way, nobody wins when you do that shit, bro. Yeah. Like you don't want to play this new game. Okay. You don't want to do it. And you know them shit come in minutes. Yeah. So just fast as one go over there, Cali will be gone. Oh, it's no, no. All of us are dead. Shut up. Son, I spoke to the guy who makes them. I read where the top five places are to go. With New York is one. Uh, here we go. Where? I did. Well, Monk, <laughs> Monk's Quarter, South Carolina. Dirt roads. So. <laughs> <laughs> Population of 800. I think one is definitely Linden, where I'm from. Because Man, we, shut we got, up. Linden little, already got hit by a bomb. No, because we got all them fucking them gas cans. All the gas things down there in Linden. Look yeah, at that wouldn't be huh? bad. Linden got all the gas tanks. What are you talking about? Safest places to live during World War Three. Okay, go. I googled this, bro. Okay, Antigua. <laughs> no, hold on. Anguilla. Anguilla. Yeah. <laughs> no, definitely not. That. Number one, Iceland. Hell yeah. Okay, Alaska. Iceland. It's been the most peaceful country in the world since 2008. But nobody want to be there. An impressive feat. <laughs> they say Iceland's beautiful. Yeah. Cleveland. Um, <laughs> number two, Singapore, baby. What do you mean? The single that poor. shit is a hop, skip, and a jump from China, bro. <laughs> they, said, like, they, they, they said the country, has, they said the reason for this, uh, they're not telling us why this is a, the safest places for World uh, War III. Because people single and poor there. World War III, safest <laughs> destinations in the world to live among amid heightened global tensions. All right, Singapore's number two. Nah. Um, Switzerland's number three. Nah. It's in Europe. That shit getting blown the fuck up. To the UK? Nope. Wow. Nope. That shit getting they bodies. Us. Oh, because they got bunkers. Oh, the UK has plenty of nuclear Hawaii. bunkers that could protect citizens from a t potential war. A lot of the bunkers were built in preparation for the Cold War and they left over from World War II. What about, what about Australia? Just go chill out in Australia, cool it. New Zealand? New Zealand. Nobody invaded New Zealand. New Zealand. Like, nobody um, want any of that New shit. New Zealand, because they got nuclear bunkers, they said. Yup. Mm. This is crazy. This shit That's is going... some arrogance, bro. New Zealand got nuclear bunkers. Nobody blowing you up. Why what, America what's don't what's have nuclear bunker? bunkers? We That's do. Them, them. Son, we got a whole city in Colorado underneath the airport that it can really? handle in case the world ends. That's where people go, and they put two thousand people in there, or whatever, like that. That's the doomsday. How the fuck do nobody you pick tell, them? Nobody, ain't nobody tell us. They not letting black people in that shit. I'm about to say, I don't think about nobody. My name not on the list. Come on, got to be Colorado for a reason. <laughs> I know Robert Smith got a bunker. He's yeah. from Denver. Yeah, we're, I know he got a bunker. You know, look it up. Look up the look up the Denver airport doomsday. Hold on, I'm what looking I, it up right now. You know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go buy me a, a fucking 53-foot trailer and start bunkering that shit. What all do you think I need? Is, is that a, a new of, Who's Wax just, Bunker? Just say who's Wax die, Doomsday who's Bunker? Who's Doomsday hey. Bunker? I'll be in a 53-foot yeah, yeah. trailer. It says it's a conspiracy theory, Andrew. Okay. Yeah, you know what? 
conspiracy theories aren't true. Like that whole Epstein shit, that probably didn't happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Did like did? that probably didn't happen. What conspiracy Epstein theories do? never make sense. You know what I mean? Like hundred percent. Five wild conspiracy theories about Denver uh, International uh, Airport and the uh, doomsday book. Ask Illuminati. them if why Denver though. Why wouldn't it be in D.C.? Why Denver people, is D.C.? Hey, 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 hey. Do you think these rich motherfuckers care about politicians living or dying? I'm going to be honest with you. That shit is on Mars, bro. They ready to go, All the poor bro. motherfuckers they ready going to, go, to Denver, bro. bro. They're real elite. They out. Mars. Son, look at, look, at this, look at this Denver shit, bro. If this shit is 2025, it takes three years to get the Mars on a plane. A ship. For you? <laughs> For you? They going it? to Mars, yo, bro. Yo, yo, yo. You you don't know how fast people can go to places now. You don't know. You don't know. You really there's don't no know. there's no rules no more, ducks. Yeah. <laughs> there is no more. Yo yo, bro. nothing makes sense, this bro. This shit don't make no. This sense is the beauty. No more, this no. is the beauty about a nuclear um uh a nuclear. What is it called? Uh, Holocaust? Uh -huh. Like uh, was it when the whole world dies? Yeah yeah yeah. Is that what it's called, Apocaly Chris? Apocalypse. Nuclear apocalypse. Um, life is gonna be very pure those last few days. No no, it's not days. It 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 no. could be happening right now. Yeah yeah yeah. Shut up. No no. It could be on the way. Yeah. And then we don't know. What are you talking about? What, and what then we do? just die. But what do you do? You know what? You smell? With that what? said, with that said, you got it. You need to make things right for a lot right. of people, yo. Yes, you do. Or one specifically. You. you. One specifically. You. Yeah. You. You. I beat my dog this morning. His dude on the floor. I stepped in it. Wow. I don't even know what that means. Wow. I don't know if that was wow. literal or All that those was women's hearts you broke. I don't know. <laughs> you better get right, yo. You better what get right. What are you talking about now? You better yo. get right. Fix your house. You sit there in your little cute tight pants and your little cute Yo. hoodie. You know what I'm saying? With your yeah. hair all proxied up. Them big old tits. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> so, that's why you was feeling gay. That's why I you got that's some big old titties right head. next to you, dude. It's hard to fucking You're concentrate. Like, hey, Real tough. Chill out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> chill out. Oh, oh, son, look, why like, do I feel uncomfortable? Flame, son. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Hashtag. Yo, I know <laughs> do that, you know. All right. But no, you need to get right, yo. Yeah, you nah, need to God get right, son. Man. Come on, wrong, stop man. playing. Something's wrong. We, nah, something's wrong. Yo, more. let's talk, bro. The world's more. ending, bro. Come on, it's, it's wrong, over. Man. It's over. You might as well talk to us. What's wrong? God bring you through a lot of things. It just what's happened. wrong, yo? I don't get it. What's wrong? Son. What you mean, what's wrong? What's wrong? We can tell. Can't you tell something wrong with him? Something yeah. wrong, bro. What you think, Taylor? Get on the mic. I'm, I'm asking. <laughs> yeah. I want a woman's opinion. What do, wrong, what do you think is wrong, yo? What do you think wrong with him, Taylor? This guy's lactating. You don't think there's something wrong with him? <laughs> Got fucking whole milk coming out. <laughs> How about I say, I've heard of lactating before. How about I say intolerant? <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. I feel like he got to get out of his cowardness stuff. Oh, oh what's going on? I like that. See, that's yeah. why I like Taylor. Taylor don't bullshit. Taylor, yeah. she ain't she coming, kicking the door down. Okay, real conservative with it. Y'all want a fucking right? war? Right. Who called for war? <laughs> <laughs> Who called for war? Charlamagne, boy. Who called you know, for war? Charlamagne been doing this to me for years. <laughs> what? You never stop. Who called for war? Taylor, what? He, why is he a coward? Yeah, why is he a coward? I didn't know I was a coward. Yo. It just seems like Tell he doesn't him. know how to talk. Like Tell he has him. a problem with communication. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You got you got you a problem with communication. You know when you say bro. that? That's not the first time I heard that. So that's yeah. that's probably right. But sometimes you got to be about that action, bro. No, that's mostly. Go make I, it right. I'm bro. more about action, as, and I don't like to talk about things that happen. I like to take, talk about solutions. So if I see things just just not solution ready. You know, just sit back into it. But what if you have the solution? What if you have the solution? So I therefore, think I do got therefore, the solution. you presenting the solution is what could rectify the situation. I, yeah, throw the fire out so where I can look for whatever is going on. You but know what, what if saying? the nukes already get thrown? What if what, what if one That's person throws a nuke, another person throws I'm like nuke. this. This whole time you could have stopped the nukes from getting thrown. Yep. I don't think I could have stopped the nukes from getting thrown. But as they being thrown, I got to get out the way until they stop. Yo, dude, we can get over things. I mean, Japan and America, we attacked each other. Mm -hmm. Horrendous attacks. They started it, but horrendous attacks. Mm -hmm. Now we're best friends. Because we're somebody allies. had to die. Somebody had to die. Somebody had to go. Why? People who don't have to die. What if, what if you let your no. ego die? That's Ooh. Ooh. Holy uh. shit. I'm not dead. No, 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 no. You're not in there. You're not in there. You're not in there. Why not? I was good. Oh, what if you let your, your ego die, die bro? Die, bro. Real That's the name of Rock's new special. Say what? That's the name of his new tour. Yeah, yeah ego so. death. Yeah. What do you? What? 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 What if you like? That's that ayahuasca, bro. So my my ego is me wait. just thinking that um, positive, huh? What's your ego? Is thinking positive, right? No, ego is when up. you can't get out of your own way. Yeah, and 
you blame everybody else for you not getting out of your own. Mm. No, no, it's, no. All, it's all you. No, no, no. I, I like actually because I feel like I grow when I actually know that it's really me. So, it's definitely. And I've been growing a lot. No, I don't it's think it's all me. you. You wanted to be me. I've been around you Yo, long enough listen, to know it's you. I told this motherfucker. He I don't had even AIDS. know me. I know you. He thought he had AIDS. This me you talk about? <laughs> he just <laughs> wanted to get me so bad. No, still. it's you. I'm telling you, it's you. You gotta accept it, man. Yeah, I lied to him the one moment, time and told somebody. He's like, "That's what you get. Nope. You did it. That's it. It never be happy." Deflecting is not going to work right now. <laughs> what are that's you true. Talking about? I'm not that's deflecting. True. You are deflecting. Deflecting is not going to work. Listen, it is you. I, listen, you know what? Even if it is. Wherever God got me at right now, I'm gonna be better tomorrow. So I'm gonna grow again tomorrow. So hopefully I'm better tomorrow enough to. That's what Kodak uh, Black told me. Yeah. Kodak Black said after Friday, he's gonna be a changed man. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and this is after him saying that he has to sleep with women that he works with. Okay. This guy, <laughs> like, <laughs> he said he has to sleep with women that he yeah. works with. I used to think about that. It's a control thing. What is he saying? He said, he said, no, he said it's a control thing. He said, because I invest mad money. He said, imagine investing mad money into a woman and then she fall in love with somebody and now that somebody is all in the contracts, whoop de whoop want to know where the whoop de whoop at. Getting that, that money. I, mean? I used he to think just like, like you. How old is he? 24. I used to think like that at 24. I never yeah. thought like that. No, no, no. I've it, never, not, I, not for power, though. I, I used to think that I wanted to get the curiosity out of it. You know what no, I'm saying? That shit, you know what's so interesting? <laughs> And I told Kodak this. I what, said, yo. What get the curiosity out Yeah, why be even here? Like, you don't want to have sex with me. I don't want to have sex with you. Either we that not. Is a, that is a primitive way of need thinking. to do it now. I've made the most money with women, yo. No respect. I've made but... the most money doing business with women. That's why, mm. I, that's, why I put, that's why I put women at the head of my companies. That's why I like partnering with women. That's mm -hmm. why my managers are women. Like, I have mm -hmm. made the most money with women. You make the most money when you fucking... <clears throat> Put your dick and your ego aside mm. and actually look at a person as a human and see what this person can bring to the table. I made, I made most of the money with girls who I just had sex with. The girls I didn't have sex with, I don't think I made too much money with. But the girls I had sex with, it was like we got that out of the way and it was able to focus on what we had. So just an experience with me. And my other people might be different. You know what I'm saying? That's, but if I that's a ridiculous way of thinking. I'm telling you my experience. The girls that I had sex with, we was able to come to get that curiosity out and now we can stick buddy, with business. Buddy, listen to what Shaw is saying. He's saying he made the most money working with women. Understand. You want to make $100 million. Yes. That's why you're growing out your tits. You can't grow your tits, though. <laughs> <laughs> you grow your hands off. Son, you're about to get money. this money. <laughs> You got ready to pimp me out. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get that 100 M's in no time. By the, way, that's a, by the way, that is a scary mentality <laughs> to think that there are guys out there who only think like that. And you know what's so crazy? I've the had power women, is kind of wild, though. Sean. I've had women that I've worked with, that I work with now, who say that to me. They'd they be like, yo, I'm like, you know, people be drinking. And, we, and they, they're just, I just want to thank you because, you know. I've worked with you know you never guys tried before. Yeah, and these yeah. guys tried me, and you know I'm, you're the first guy I've ever nah, you respect. know worked that with all the time. that that you know did, does things for me, but never asked me anything in return. I'm like you're busted, right? You're just like yo, you're ugly. Right? <laughs> 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 yo, 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 right? Like yo, guy. me, <laughs> me? You think I'm me and you? Like but you're crazy. But, like, <laughs> but I never even I, I've yo, heard, kill I, your ego. Listen, I've <laughs> heard this from such. I've heard this from like oh, a quite man. a few. Women that Women, I do yeah. business with, and I've never, I'm like, I'm like, that's shit really be happening. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. They feel like they're more in power and stuff yeah. like that. But you know what I told the girl uh, before, and that we was talking, and I was like, girls never try to holler at you. She's like, no, at first. And she was like, well, actually, you got me thinking about it. girls don't holler at me. And I'm like, girls always holler at girls. It's a thing. So if a girl didn't holler at her, at first she was like, no, ain't no fucking girls holler. I'm like, if girls don't holler at you, that's a problem. She's mm. like, wax, am I ugly? Because girls don't holler at it. I don't know what you just said. Me neither, dude. You don't? That nope. shit sounded like when I was talking about being gay earlier. No, you gotta listen. I was just saying, because girls like girls, and if a girl never hollered at the girl, <laughs> then you're not that pretty, I guess. Taylor, what's up, Taylor? Girls never hollered at you before? That's so, so what if girl never hollered at you, you're not gonna feel away? Because girls always hollering at girls. I'm not gay, right? No, 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 no. But girls always hollering at girls. If girls never hollered at you before, Oh, you, I feel, feel? you know, I can kind of see that because I feel like yeah, you you get like when a guy compliments you, when a gay guy compliments you, that shit is like, wow, thank you, bro. You I guess. I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I get it. 
but girls always hollering at girls though. They 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 they, they always and guys are always hollering at guys. If we go to the club, you see the way guys do with girls. The I girls watch tap each other on. asses. When we all going to you the board section, we tap each other asses and, and doing all that shit. We they don't go, do that. Come on, kisses on the face. But come on, fam. I seen a, Andrew, you watched the guy kiss wax hand. Yeah, I saw a guy kiss your hand. Suck you your finger. About? Why is, no. what, why is what's the <laughs> difference though yeah. if you play football and they sla- smack the ass? That's right. Yeah. That's still different. Y'all girls be in the club. Imagine in the section a bunch of boys doing what y'all girls do. Imagine, doing a twerking. Imagine on the Imagine fo- twerking. They twerking on the just... football field. They do. Oh, they they do. touch down. They, <laughs> they twerk. Do. They do little they cute do. dances. Yeah. They slap each other on the yeah, ass. They do. What are you talking about? They it's do. the same shit. They do. If I go in a section of the club, I see dudes act like girls. They're doing their selfies and shit like that. Yeah. It's, Kissing the, the kiss face and the duck lips and shit. Wax, a guy mm-hmm. kissed you on the hand in the club. Yeah. He reached he, out, grabbed your hand, you gave it to me. Well, I didn't tell him nothing. I didn't tell him to sit in your lap neither. I never. <laughs> I was standing up on the couch for sure. And you, when and he kissed you, you know, after me. he kissed Wax hand, Wax there, respect. <laughs> <laughs> that's all he did. He was like, respect. No, I snatched my other fuck you got going You ain't on, do man. that. Oh, oh, that's a lie. Cap, bro. Cap. Oh, that's fucking cap. cap. You didn't see it. I know what the fuck you was doing. What was I doing? You was doing something when the lights come on. Watch out. Who? What was I doing? All the roaches run when the lights come on. That's all I don't remember what I was doing. Yeah, the light, when the lights come on, what roaches <laughs> do? Run. Yeah, but what? That's what, what was, happened when the lights came on. What was I on. doing? Running after the lights came on. Are you on. sure? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so, bro. No, yeah, you paid for it. We paid all the bills? All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a sec and pay some bills here. Um, cooking it can be incredibly stressful, okay? Do you have the time? to go out there, get all the groceries? Do you have the time to figure out all these new recipes? Do you have the time? The reality is we don't have the time. Time is the thing that we have almost none of in our lives. Many of you right now are probably doing something else while you're watching or listening to this. We don't even have enough time to enjoy our favorite podcast. We have to do something else while we're doing it because we don't have any time. I'm going to save you some time, especially when it comes to eating, we're going to do it with Freshly, okay? No one wants to spend an hour cooking dinner after a rough day at work or infuriating commute. At the end of a long day, takeout doesn't have to be your only option for an easy dinner. Whether it's for you or the whole family, Freshly gives you convenience, flavor, and nutrition, okay? I'm telling you, Freshly came through in a time of a pinch for me. I mean, it was absolutely clutch. You know, I'm working these crazy long hours between the podcast and doing the tour, knowing that there's a delicious meal ready to go for me is so incredibly valuable. I cannot even explain it to you. Really opening up another hour in my day, an hour I could spend with my wife, an hour I could spend fuck working more, an hour I could spend with the homies. So I love Freshly for that. You can get delicious chef-made nutrient-packed meals delivered straight to your door, no cooking required, fresh and never frozen, ready to heat and enjoy in just three minutes. So... Choose from over 50 nutritionist designed entrees like their classic steak, peppercorn, multi serve sides with the masterful mac and cheese, or their new line of plant based meals. Skip the grocery shopping and dirty dishes. Your meals arrive cooked and fresh every week. New meals are added weekly, so you're never stuck eating the same thing over and over. Stop stressing about dinner. Right now, Freshly is offering our listeners $40 off your first two orders when you go to freshly.com slash idiots. That's $40 off at freshly.com slash idiots. Go get that. Also, today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Okay, guys, if you're taking your online business seriously, you need a website. And the best company to build it with, host it with, is Squarespace. Simple as that. There is no other competitor. This is the one you're going to do it with. And if you're going to make sure that your business is legit, you need that website. They have domains, websites, online stores, marketing tools, all of it. It is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. You'll find out what you need, whether you're showcasing your work, blogging and publishing content, selling products and services, announcing upcoming events, or anything you can dream of, you got that at Squarespace. Buying a domain from Squarespace is easy because there are no hidden fees or price hikes, and get to know your audience with their analytics tools. That is massive. You want to grow? You got to know how people are consuming your content. Those include insight on page views, traffic sources, time on the site, audience geography, and more. It's so simple, okay? Start with a design template. Use drag and drop tools to make it your own. All websites are optimized for mobile. Your site looks great on any device. Every Squarespace website and online store comes with a suite of integrated features and useful guides that help maximize prominence among search results. These SEO tools are paramount. So head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code IDIOT 
to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with the offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Now let's get back to the show. Okay, let's do some <laughs> shit you won't care about. Not shit you won't care about. Let's do uh, Ask an Idiot. Ask an Idiot, baby. Let's do some Ask an Idiot. Oh, I made Kanye's beef list. Salute to Kanye. Oh, yeah. Dope. What? Yo, how did that feel? I don't be caring anymore. I, I, I actually think that there's nobody who courts attention the way Kanye West does. And people eat it up every yeah. single time. Yeah, it's it's, really it's, it's, it. it's like, amazing. You don't think it's, it's smart what he did, though, a little bit? What did he do? With the streaming for his new album? I mean, yeah, it's smart if you're selling tech. It's not smart if you're selling music. And I don't even understand. Like I saw, and, and listen, I, it, I want somebody to explain it to me. Um, if I'm an artist, I don't know why I would be celebrating that because that's not, it's not like they paid $200 for music. They paid $200 for, for the, the stem player. And, and then, this album will be on the stem player. But can you put other things on the stem player? That's like, the question I asked. Yeah. I was like, okay, so after you listen to the, after you listen to the album, then what do you use the stem player for? Yeah. Salute to uh, Ashley from the We Talk Back podcast. She was telling me this morning that it's like a speaker. Sure. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like, she said she would have bought that over our bowls or something because it's like a speaker and it does some unique things. Did you check it out? With, the, with the lights and stuff. The lights, but something else too. It's something that does with no, the sound. No, I mean, what, what Kanye was saying is that it can play just the, uh, what is the, the words of a song? The What is that called? Lyric. Acapella? Uh, I guess acapella. acapella. So it can remove the beats. It can play just the beat. It can play just oh. the yeah, drum. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, could, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can, like, I guess, listen to the music in different board. ways. And for like a Kanye produced album, that's pretty dope. Like mm -hmm. if I just want to hear the drums mm. part, that allows me to you should call it a speaker board then. That's why I didn't yeah. understand. Like, and I saw people reposting like, yeah, you know, he sold 11,000 copies of these and he made 2.2 .2 million in 24 hours. It would take you 500 something million streams to make that kind of money. And I'm like, but we're talking apples and oranges here. We're not, mm. we're talking music and tech. We're not talking about yeah. music. How does this revolutionize the music industry? Because I guess, you, you yeah. even got to be a certain caliber of artist to make somebody buy something for two hundred dollars, yeah, yeah, I'm not buying something for for two hundred dollars from Shoes just anybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's a few artists that can do that. That's Kanye's one of them. Drake's one of them. Yep. Rihanna, like the Adele's of the world, like just to say, hey, here's a two hundred dollars something. And by the way, I'm still, even if I like the person's music, I still want to know what that something is I'm buying because mm. I can wait to hear the music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I think there's something about. You know, we all like we could wait to watch a boxing match, but we like watching it when it happens mm -hmm. in that open. You know, like and with that, HBO, like yeah. every time HBO would would have a pay per view fight when we were younger, like the H that fight would come on the next week on regular HBO. Yeah, do you care like that? Do you really care about yeah, Kanye's man. music like that at this point? I, me personally, no. But like I know there are people out there that do and they love it and they're so invested. And I think uh, gospel. I think that we might gravitate towards this with like content in general, like as we have our audience and as we have our like armies, like we could release it for the people that really want to support, they're really anticipating, and the people that like want you to see the money for the product. And then afterwards, it can come out on yeah. regular release. And then that regular release will allow more people to access it and you can get more fans. And I think some sort of combination between both of those, which is what I imagine will happen with this, like Donda 2 will come out with a STEM player for a period of time. Yeah, it's happened to another world. It, it oh, it's not out, out yet. No, it's supposed to come out today. Two, 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 two. Yeah, it's hey. supposed to be out today. But it's not. Yeah. By the way, Kanye hasn't released the album when he was supposed to in the last five, <laughs> six albums. So I don't know why y'all thought y'all was getting that on TG. <laughs> because of the two, 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 two. I don't know yeah. why y'all thought y'all was getting it. And this isn't the first time Kanye said this album is going to be exclusively on something either. Mm. By the way, I'm not mad at him selling the tech. Sell the tech. I just was trying to figure out, well, how is this saving the music industry because this will not this model will not work for everybody mm. yeah. you know what I mean and nobody's Everybody paying can't sell sneakers I'm not like paying $200 for music <laughs> yeah yeah. I'm yeah. not yeah, how much is but these we pay for a concert for the experience and so if let's say this STEM thing changes your listening experience some people actually might that might be worth it for them yeah yeah and also like exclusivity like being the only one to have it within a certain time right like I don't know if people actually do this, but like, let's say you do have the stem player, like, and you're a DJ. That's a valuable thing. Get to play that new Kanye at the club. Yeah. Hey. So listen, let me ask you a question. What happens with other artists? Then? Other artists don't have this stem player to sell to get to their fans. Mm -hmm. So how are the other artists going to make two point two million dollars in twenty four hours? Michaela, did you get butt implants? What's that? 
God I'm damn. I'm on. Son, you can't. I never even knew that. <laughs> oh my. Get out of here. Yo, that's crazy. Let's see it. How, how you just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What my knees doing? <laughs> what up? What up? Congrats, yo. That thing is crazy. Come on, you yo, fucking what? objectifier. I'm not objectifying. Come on, bro. I'm talking about his stomach, really, when you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> but open about it, though. Talk to me. So yeah. what happened? She don't even know what you're talking I saw about. her right after it. That shit was so funny. She couldn't sit down for shit. Really? <laughs> I couldn't. What happened? You what happened? You can't sit down for like a month or yeah. two, two months. So how do you, what do you do? Lay on your stomach. Oh, what about taking like, a shit? Stand up. How you take a shit? Standing up. No, you don't. Oh. Oh. She was sitting on a little cushion in the car. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. she already they told the shit. Me. They filmed me getting in yeah, my car. Yeah, I do got a video. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because it can it. like change the shape of it or something? Yeah. So like they're mm. putting like fat in your butt that's not naturally there. Yeah. So if you sit on it too soon, it'll kill the fat. It's cells. like it's like a cake. Your mom say, don't bump in the, in the kitchen when the cake is going. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let it sit there. Hold on. Okay. So and is it set the, exactly the way that you like it and everything? Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. My doctor did a really good job. Wow. How much I'm did really- it cost? Two hundred dollars in a stem player. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, it was actually free. She just had to buy the stem. It player. ranges depending on the doctor. Why is it the doctor? Yes. They they say about the doctor because I didn't know you walked in and you were still out there. And then <laughs> I, was like, God, I, was like, I was like, when is she going to be all the way in the room already? God damn! What the hell is happening over here? <laughs> Michaela can sing oh. though. She can really sing. <laughs> Michaela I'm got open an EP about out. it. I do. I do, and I'm working on my my next one. Okay, what's the name okay. of the EP? Tell people, Michaela. Um, my EP that's out right now is called Me and Somebody's Son. Okay. The next one is going to be My Happy Toxic Place. Ooh. Explain. Yeah. Um, everybody thinks like being toxic is like bad, but it's it's fun. It's fun here. Like I love it here. You're gonna love it here while you're here. You may leave heartbroken. But while you're here, it's gonna be a great time. Yeah, when oh, I was yeah. young, when I felt like that, yeah. and I, I got all the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I enjoyed it when we was in it for sure. If you, you just know, got like the BBL, yeah. like you're gonna want to be toxic for a no, little I'm bit. No, I'm actually. This is like me getting out my feelings from my from my past couple of experiences. Uh, I'm ready to settle down now. Are you? Yeah. Are you? Um, can you dance with it? Have you tried it? Try to. <laughs> We're back to that. Yeah, yes, yeah, I, yeah, can, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can dance. It moves. Yeah. It's and it moves and everything. It, it moves. No, and it's it's fine. yeah. yeah. So what? It's still Why? healing. Can every, I not ask questions? Every doctor is, can I not be interested? Fair, fair enough. Every doctor is different. Every ass is not the same. Right. When it comes mm-hmm. off the table. Yeah. So you So it's was he recommended? To, the, this doctor was recommended. He was. Just, he was yeah. recommended. And you have to do your own research too. You have to do you have to look at first of all, are they board certified? You have to look at mm. doctors who deal with body types like your own. Oh, yeah. Um, Yeah. And you have to be really specific with them as to like what you want. Do you want to look like a wisdom tooth with your hips? (laughs) What? (laughs) That's what a lot of these girls come out looking like. You know, like they have hips that are like, yeah, yeah, they look like big teeth. Yeah, they're too wide for their legs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, have you noticed a difference with guys? Yes. And yeah, explain. When she walks through the rooms, guys just be like, oh, God damn. <laughs> I mean, I mean I did. did she finish my walking It's never been a topic. I, of I was noticing a difference, though. And actually, if you can see me on the wide camera, you'll see me go like, I'm like, puzzled. like from the front. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, because I, I thought that maybe you was hiding all that. No. No, it wasn't there. It wasn't <laughs> Yo, there. I it thought was, she was hiding. It wasn't there. Yo, bro, it was crazy. <laughs> but dude. I like to be transparent. She didn't, she didn't walk in the room. She kept walking in the room, but she wasn't in the room yet. <laughs> Andrew is just so Look, What, dude? I thought she was hiding like, Michaela, all that. Michaela, you know what you <laughs> I thought you was hiding all that. <laughs> Michaela, you know, you know you should, what you should sing for him to get his mind off that to say that you got more better traits than your ass. I do have better traits. This was something that I wanted to do for a really, really long time. Why? For, my for own you I hate somebody it. else? It was for my own self-esteem. Okay. Yeah. Um, you fart you different? Need it. Do I fart <laughs> Does it come out different? Um, <laughs> yeah. it, it, no, it's probably, it probably come out deeper because it, it come out. Like, you yeah. didn't need it, but it's just like a trombone. <laughs> what does it sound like? That's that's upper, that's what does it sound opinion. like when you fart now? I, I fart a lot. Just regardless. like this. <laughs> 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 you know the football plays in, in the hallway. That's why we say in the hallway. <laughs> Woo, 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 woo. I think it sounds the same. I like the Arsenio Hall show. They <laughs> try to get out. I'm happy that you're happy, but you didn't need it. I'm very, very happy. Yeah, she I can mean, sing. That's, that's your opinion. That's fair. Yeah. I'm happy that it's not. I mean, my goal was to not overdo it. So 
is what I want. Yeah. It looks fine. It's, yeah. You know, it's in no, order. No, it's, it's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I don't know nothing. I, lo- I like the way thing, she though. said Thanks. That's a good thing. That's Thanks. positive. We're being positive. Thanks. I appreciate it. Same yeah. form, so you don't look. Yo, if, you, if she's singing for you, now you're going to think about her ass no more. I'm not. Wait, what? I doubt it. <laughs> Enough of Michaela's ass, guys. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, no, this, this is like curiosity. This is just, we're learning about things. I mean, you also have to be open about it because a lot of girls go and get surgery and then they start selling waist trainers and they make that's people true. think that that's how they Come got on. it, you know? That's true. So yeah, you got to no, be really without. transparent with it. Now, I don't post it on my Instagram like, hey, mm-hmm. I just got surgery, but if somebody asks me, I'm not going to lie. And you that's need to learn about this stuff. I'm going to get a BDL. No, what you uh, that's, no, I no, think no, that's no, a thing. No, no. That is they true. do have that. BDL. Yeah. Yeah. And you also make yourself taller. I, you can make yourself that. taller, but um, if you have but, if you got the BDL, you don't need to be. But taller. that's what Cardi said, though. Cardi said she wanted people to get it done the right way. Right. So she didn't I, I think she didn't get it done the right way. Yeah, a lot of a lot of like strippers and you know, like young girls, they go for the either the cheaper doctors or, or the they'll get basement. underground basement yeah. ass shots mm-hmm. and stuff, yeah. which is Silicone. What, what do BBLs stand for? BB- Brazilian butt lift. Oh, so you want BDL. the Brazilian butt lift, not the Bronx butt lift. Yeah, the no. Bronx, Bronx butt lift is, is in the basement right now. Well, so a BDL is a, a big dick L. Brazilian dick lift. The Brazilian dick lift. That's yeah. what you want? You want that? I ain't, I'm okay. I mean, I don't want to alter nothing. That's why I don't got so much stuff. Why you, know? you got titties then? Yeah. yeah. And then do, do nothing with them. Push do it. you think Wax's breasts look bigger? I, do you think they've yeah, been augmented? They, they do. They're bigger than mine. Wow. Listen, I got the hair over. I told myself next was going to be my boobs, but where's your doctor? <laughs> <laughs> That's good idiot. He said he got the, he said he got the hair over. That's what women do when they want to bring do. attention to it. No, they it do. ain't. Put a couple no, strands right over the hair. Back. No, it ain't. Look, yeah, don't y'all do that? Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. Did you, you cover like it up with both uh, sides? No, you just got to like put it. No, see, yeah, that's to open. Make it look sexy or whatever. Wait till summertime. Did you have like a party where your friends came over like to look at it? Like, did you unveil it to the to your friends? And no, stuff? they they knew like my whole process. Though a couple of my friends, you know, came with me to fly back with me to make sure I was good. Oh wow! Okay, um, good friends. And How'd you fly so- back? Cargo. <laughs> she couldn't see. Put her on there. <laughs> you, 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 you gotta keep the you gotta keep the cake. No, you, have you guys ever been on a flight to Miami and you see like a whole bunch of like women like kneeling? That well, you guys are rich. You probably fly first class. Well, in coach. Um, there are a whole bunch of women like kneeling in front of their no. chairs. No. Yeah, so you have to oh, sit for okay. takeoff and landing as per the airline regulations. And then That's crazy. All the time, white people like, thought they were protesting. I guarantee, <laughs> I guarantee you, white people thought they were on the plane We got protesting. time for this, honey. Watch that one. <laughs> you just like Matthew, kneel, I wouldn't and like kneel that. in front of your chair. Or you get up her. and you walk about. It's only like, I mean, Miami to New York, two. like two and a half hours. Yeah. yeah. Hours, so yeah. Wow. Damn. Wow. And then you're like high off whatever meds you're on and mm. you take and like a blood dinner. And now you're completely healed? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, you're, you heal for up to a year. Oh, how long ago did you get it? What am I, like six months now? Are you allowed to have intercourse? Yes. And have you tried it since? Yes. And guys, do they like? Really? Do you they'll, they'll, I don't want to hear all of this. <laughs> I know that this Why is your, this this is, it, but this is your niece, it's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, stop being selfish. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just curious. And did you let someone test drive it that didn't have it before to see the difference? Like old work, did they try it? Yeah. Good question. And were I mean, they like, was it crazy? I don't know if I should be <laughs> Nah, you good. You good. me old work. Like the, the, the dude that she had slept with before. Oh, oh, To see like the before and yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And what was he saying? Like, nothing. He didn't, Hold on. Don't you have oh, a boyfriend? Nothing. Oh, okay. I, don't you got a girlfriend? Yeah. Mm. No. A now, to get yeah, right. you got a fiance. No, yeah. who said I got a girlfriend? That's a long time ago. You got a fiance, girlfriend. though, right? Fiance. Totally different. Okay, you got a fiance. Totally though. different. Do you have a fiance? Don't, don't, don't disrespect Do you have a fiance? Do you have a fiance? Don't disrespect my union. Oh, good. Okay, you union. have a union. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Okay, you got a fiance. You're talking about girlfriend shit. What? No, nah, you got a fiance. Like a young man. You have a fiance. You got a fiance, bro. All right. Blessings. God That's bless. Right. What is it? All right. What's all right? I don't know, That's bro. That's crazy. I don't this hear guy. no conviction. Yeah. You don't sound like you claiming this right now, bro. Union. No, fiance. No, bro. All right. Whoa. All right. What's all right mean? That's crazy. Michaela, you That's wild. all right. What does that feel? What does that feel like to you, Michaela, as a woman? <laughs> it's it's a little it's it's a little shaky. You should say yes with your whole chest, the big chest that you have. <laughs> <laughs> Not that whole chest. Y'all that whole like, chest. Yes. Chill. It's like, yes. Um, yes. There we go. Yes, what? 
<laughs> yes, what? Yes, man. I yes. have. Yes. I have. I have. A I have. B B on B say. Come say. On. Say it. Say it. Yes, I have a fiance. All right. Let's go. Let's go, Carla. Yeah. That's it, baby. Let's go. Love Yo. that. Hey, bro. Hey, wax. <laughs> wax. 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 You weak, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know what the therapist told me? The therapist said, Oh, you went to the lady? Only way for me to you win to is lady. to lose. <laughs> yes. So I have to be weak. There we go. I we all be weak. weak to be strong. We all weak, bro. It is what it is, man. You always got to ask yourself, do you want to be happy or do you want to be right? Mm. Ooh. You know what I mean? Like, it's really that simple. Do you want to be happy or do you want to be right? 100%. Or we do you want to be sad I'd or mad? We I don't can't care. be both? I don't, I, don't, I don't think it matters who's right or wrong when you really... No, no, a thousand percent. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's just you gotta like, let's get be fixed. happy. Who, it. who spilled the juice? It don't matter. We got to get it up. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's but right. if there's nothing to get it up, it's like, we got to leave it there. I can't stay there. Leave it there. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You got to get it up. You have to get it. But who going to get it? Go lick it up. There's nothing to get it up. Ooh, please, somebody put on Reddit, put that edit together. That was fire. <laughs> he said, who going to get it up? If I got to lick it up? Like, somebody, I if I you know what you got to do. You, just... you know what the job is. You definitely just said that. I, it wasn't like that, though. Okay. Talk about Kool-Aid. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Don't do that. Rest in peace, Kool-Aid. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, Stop. Man, fuck, do man. This guy is no, this guy not. is unreal. <laughs> this guy is unreal, dude. You are unreal, Wax. Okay? You oh. better fucking chill out, dude. Resting that, that mic nothing. between those big old tits of yours, dude. <laughs> I put everything here to try to cover it up today. <laughs> okay. Asking this, yes, Let's what do we it. Got? Come what on. What we got? What we got? What we got? Uh, Salar, 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 CRVR, whatever the fuck says. Mm-hmm. What has been the biggest setback in your career within the last few years? Hmm, it's an interesting question. Mm-hmm. What is what has it been, Schultz? Uh last few years have been good, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Same. Yeah, last few years have <laughs> been good, bro. <laughs> know why? Because neither you. one of y'all want child support. Next question. Yeah, uh, I mean, it minus the bullshit. Life's great. Like yeah. I last few years have been absolutely yeah, phenomenal. Yeah. And honestly, I can't say I've had any setbacks because anything that might have been considered a setback professionally, it just wasn't ready for me yet mm. it wasn't meant for me to have in that moment you know what i mean and that's what they always say they say of oh, you you know when you when you when you see where you're going or when you see what you actually receive you'll understand why god made you it there mm. you go no real shit okay what else we got uh young geezer matt oh this is a good one what yeah. keeps you humble Ooh, knowing that god looking at me Ooh, yeah he sees everything um what keeps me humble i uh, I'm like a, I'm just like a grateful guy. Like sometimes when I'm feeling good, like if I'm down about some shit, then it's hard and obviously focus on the negativity and there's the woe is me bullshit. But like when I'm feeling good, not even like happy, happy, but just good or happy, I, I genuinely feel like incredibly lucky and incredibly grateful. And like, I'll be overwhelmed by it. And I think that that keeps me humble because I'm just so appreciative of, uh, of what I have. And uh, yeah, so I think that is that is my outlook. That but you don't think definition. humble could be multiple things? Like if I smack the shit out of a dude, I humbled him, right? Or I just want to come in the room and feel I'm a humble guy because I feel like you know it's too different. You I guess what I'm so? saying is my humility doesn't come from like fear of someone checking me. Like my humility comes from like an appreciation of what I get to be part of and the time that I live. And like it, it's not enforced on me yeah. the humility. Like yeah. it's built into me. I'm very fortunate to have this, but like. I had a great dinner with my wife last night and I had just so much fun Grateful. with her. And like, I literally, before we, nice. before we went into my apartment, I don't care if it sounds corny, but I was like, I'm so happy right now. And see, you it, understand? It was great. Last night, yo. Isn't it? I'm I walked so around, I walked the around the house. Me? I walked around the house after midnight because it was two, 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 two. It was two, two, two. And I just two. was two. talking like, bro, God, thank you, man. Like, man, I like, and I, you know what I, I kept saying to myself? I was like, I manifested all of this. Yeah. I put all of this together with yeah. my thoughts. And I, I was very thankful. I was happy yesterday, very thankful. Too. Dude, it's, it, is, it is awesome to be, yeah, gratitude, gratitude. is awesome. Nah, that's me, mine, too. Gratitude yeah. and knowing that whatever God gave you, God can take away. Mm-hmm. Hmm? What, were what, you, I mean? what were you happy about last night, Wax? Uh, that, um, you know, when you make the right decisions or you think you make the right decisions, um, and it don't make you feel bad about it. I think I was lying to yourself. 
lying to himself. Why can't I have mine? You got yours. You Can I have mine? So bad. He feels so bad. He <laughs> lied. You lie to yourself all. Dude, listen, relate. Listen, I'm gonna tell you, you this right now. Bad. Decisions. You feel bad. Decisions that you, you bad. make might you make bad. you feel bad because you, feel bad. you know when you put fries inside the in, the in the frying pan, they fry, but they get done well. They good. But if you never put them in the frying pan, they won't never be good. Whoa. So you got to go through a little something. What I'm trying to say. That I was trying to connect the dots. I got you back right there. But you admitted that you. <laughs> did, but you admitted that you do feel bad. You have to. Okay, then, but well, you lied. Put... See how you lied? No, 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 he no. Said he, he said it he made a decision bad. and didn't feel bad, but now he's back to feeling bad. How you think the fries felt? What do you mean? Those fries happen to be well done to be good for you, but they didn't want to go in that fucking frying pan to get done. Certain things you have to go through. So you want to fry something? Whatever's frying right now is going to be well done at the end, and I'd rather fry it or never cook it, and then it's, it's still sitting there forever. Like, oh, got you, got you, you know I got you. So, you cook, so it's cooking right now. Let's, walk it, through the fire, to, bro. That's what you, go you gotta walk through yeah. the fire to get to the. Oh, the fire. See, that makes sense. Fire is making this, it go. That through. walk through the fryer analogy you was trying to yeah. get off didn't hit like the fire shit. Yeah. What are you talking about? I, fire and, and frying is the exact same thing. No, yeah. it's a little different. But what I hear what you. About? I hear what you're saying. I get what you're trying to yeah. get at. I don't think God ever made someone walk through the fryer. <laughs> right. Yes, they do. I'm gonna put that. I didn't see that one in the Bible. that's mine. On the seventh day, God created French fries. Uh, oh my God! This is a good one. Esteban Universe says, "Would we be going to war? Let's, this, this could be the last one. Would we be going to war if the Rock was president?" Yes, a hundred percent. Yes, for sure. Because <laughs> he's definitely cooking something in the yeah. fucking frying pan. But uh, no bullshit. That that would be fire though. Like if the Rock was president, because I would just do mad like tweets that were like cryptic. Like, let, trust me, guys, this shit is gonna be over fast and furious. Don't even worry. About it. <laughs> <laughs> you have leaders in other countries fucking doing the rocks over yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there. Yeah. What Russia's cooking? <laughs> <laughs> Russia's cooking right yeah. now. Russia invaded Ukraine. It doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> Yo, right. let's, let's do him. Can he do it next time? Can we be the president you next time? Rock? He might be, bro. I'm just saying, can we no. do the fucking No, next? why? Why not? That's funny. At least because, we can laugh. No, because you don't let motherfucking fry cooks fly the plane. That's Ooh, why. Well, look, look, we have to stop this Wait, shit. wait, wait. Look, no. at, look, look, look at the fried piece of fucking bacon we got now. No. Mm. He's still a politician. I'll take experience over no experience. No more Nine celebrities. Times. Mm. I don't know. No, certain things you got to have experience. Yep. Depends what the experience is. Depends what is, it yeah. is, man. Certain things you got to have experience. And I do. I think the bar is too low to be president. Yeah. Like, you got to have some more criteria to be fucking president. Like, yeah. But what do you have to really know at the end of the day? It... <laughs> you got no, no, no. Why? Cause let me let me finish. Cause at the end of the day, they said all these other people is, is around you who's really making the real decisions. It just comes to you. You, you like got to be willing to listen. You you like you like the father who sit down at the couch and a mom make, do everything around the house. That's a, and the kids do it, and then they tell you what's going on. We about to go out to eat, so honey. You make a terrible okay. president, huh? You make a terrible president. Why you say that? Cause you're not gonna listen. Mm. I'm listening all the time. You're not gonna listen. You're not, you're not, listen. Gonna, listen. You're not gonna listen. So if I'm sitting on the couch, you see, I'm baby, because I'm not just store, about listening. I say, okay. It's about listening and trusting that person mm. and then making the decision that that person said for you to make, right? Yeah. I'm lost. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Everything's going to be okay. He's not listening. <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. He's Everything's going to be okay. Who would be in your cabinet? <laughs> Who's in your cabinet, Wax? No black women. We know that. Whoa, whoa, Aunt whoa. Jemima. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Who? Aunt Jemima. <laughs> yo, yo, hold on. Aunt Jemima, that's, Jemima, that's a good, that's a good oh, yeah, joke. Jemima, yeah, yeah you got Aunt, Aunt Jemima, Jemima in there. I got, I got <laughs> the, uh... You said no black woman and immediately Aunt Jemima in a cabinet? That from the I, 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 <laughs> bro, that is a funny I, I don't joke, know. Yeah, bro. I, yeah, on stage. Who don't have Aunt Jemima but, uh... in their cabinet? <laughs> <laughs> you said I, I just love you just it. got it. You just got it, dude. You said oh, no, but you just got okay, it too. I've been got it. Say, yeah, you got it because we're on the same page. You said no black women in the cabinet. I said Aunt Jemima. She's I, there. Okay. That's, that's fine, right. bro. That's <laughs> bars right I, there. You I just got it. I need to put on a stem player for y'all to understand this shit. <laughs> <laughs> um I don't even know. <laughs> <You're just laughs> that was flames, bro. Uh, uh, that was a good one. I'm like, yeah. Uh, I'm, that's what I'm thinking about in my cabinet. You know what's funny is I already had Aunt Jemima oh, on deck when he said, black, when he just said, who's in your cabinet? I, I almost said it and I was like, 
I just say this out of nowhere. It's kind of racist. And then randomly, <laughs> Charlemagne just goes, you don't got no black woman. I'm like, <laughs> I'll you. You had to let it go. You had to let it go. <laughs> um, I don't even know really what the cabinet is. It was like, you need somebody for your, your team. Defense. Your team. I get people like you said, that's already did. I have Obama there and uh, <laughs> Shaq. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ice Cube. Snoop. Mikhail, Guys. Mikaela, tell them where to find your EP. Yeah. <laughs> Me and my me and somebody's son is available on all streaming platforms. Mm -hmm. Um, and my new EP should be dropping in like April, May. So be on the lookout. Got him. Yeah. And just know this is the Brilliant Idiots podcast. Okay, mm -hmm. heavy on the idiots. All Michaela, right. what's your Instagram? Uh, Michaela C J M A K A E L A C J. Okay, because that's where they're gonna go. Do you have any pictures of it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's, that's my, new, my new ass honest. is all over my Instagram and I didn't delete the old pictures either. Oh, so, so you see the difference? Man. Fire. Going to it. Come on, man. <laughs> listen, everybody else lying. <laughs> He's lying too. Yeah. Shit. As always, if you listen to this podcast, <laughs> you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant. You're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. 